Well, hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Time to start a new journey. I'm very excited. I had a lot of fun making the thumbnail um, after talking with all of you guys in chat yesterday <laughs> about um, trying to make a chicken army in Coral Island since we can't do it in Kinseed. I'm all about it. So that is going to be the goal. Hey, Christina. Hey, homie. How's it, how's it going? Hey, Sapphire. Welcome in, everybody. I am super excited to get started. Okay. Uh, let me get my intro through and out of the way, and then we shall hop into character creation, I think. Very, very excited, guys. Okay. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I'm Kat. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome here for the very first time. If you're new here, I'm super happy to have you. Today, we are starting a brand new journey in Coral Island, which has been very much... Um, it's been a pretty pretty big game, and I've had a lot of people recommend it to me, so I'm very excited to get started. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the game. Let's do it. Maybe. Yes, I've played once, and I was on day five, I guess. <laughs> we'll play at the same time. It'll be a lot of fun, I think. I hope you have fun. I should probably turn the music volume down just a smidge. There we go. Want to make sure we have a decent music to voice balance. If the music is too quiet, please let me know. I can turn it back up a little bit. Love the chicken army. Definitely a type of goal to have. <laughs> I am so excited. You're also here for the chicken army vibes. All right, let's do it. So we are going to have a feminine figure. We're going to be as pale as possible, representing me. <laughs> okay, I usually go for the longer hair, even though I have shorter hair now. I got my hair cut a while back, and it is short for like the first time in my life since childhood. Maybe we'll go with like this. This is cute. That's a vibe. That's really cute, too. I do like this, though. I think we're going to go with that. And we're going to be a more pale blonde. Can we do purple? Yes, we can. I do have, like, a deeper purple. That looks good. Uh, face. Perfect stream for today. You really love this game? Almost 70 hours in it. Yes, <laughs> that is some dedication. <laughs> I hope that I love it as much as you. I guess we'll find out. Perfect stream for today, working on your comic with the worst period cramps so far of this year. I don't love that for you. I've been having some really bad cramps as well. Oh, I can just click match hair. Oh, that is so nice. Look, match hair. Ha ha ha, amazing. Interesting that they don't have like all the normal eye colors for the defaults. They have like skin tone for default eye colors, which is weird. Um, but I indeed have a les blue eyes. Um, hope your cramps get better. It's not a, it's not a good time when you're, when you're cramping. It hurts really bad, guys. It hurts so bad. Um, let's get a, like, a, a profile view of this nose here. I'll try not to take too long in character creation, but I do like to make a cute character. I like that one. It's, it's very precious. Okay, we'll check out the lippies. Those are really full. I have thin lips. That looks right. And should we give them the slightest... Oh, you can't customize lippy color? Huh. Oh, no, you can. That was weird. That was really weird. Uh, let's just tone it down a little bit. 
That looks like a normal natural color. I think we'll go with that. It's maybe a little too pink. I don't think I'm making it any better. I think that's better. I like that. Uh, we're not going to go with facial hair as cute as that is. But we do like options for clothes. So it's exactly the same hairstyle. It's a good hairstyle, right? State of late making oatmeal raisin cookies. Mm, I love oatmeal raisin. Well, I think that's the only time I'll eat raisins is if they're in oatmeal raisin cookies. Otherwise, I hate raisins, but they're acceptable if they're in an oatmeal cookie. Trying to make some burger buns today. Are you using a like special type of bread or just like a normal burgery bun bread? I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense in my head. Gotta love being a woman, right? <laughs> Yay for us. Happy to watch the stream while baking. I'm happy to provide a stream for your baking. Hairstyle is very cute. Yeah, I like it. It's close to my real hairstyle, except my hair is more straight than wavy. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see what our purple options are. I do like the green with the purple, but it is a little barney. That's very pink. Ooh, the dark gray, though. Like the dark gray with the light gray. I do like that vibe. I think I'm going to go with that. I think it makes our hair and our eyes stand out a little bit. I can, I can, I can vibe with that. Um, we are just going to be cat. We're going to be me. I'm a miss. Uh, our farm name. Timkin Army Farm. Um, we're not going to skip the intro cutscene because I'm interested in that. And we're not going to disable the tutorials because <laughs> I need to learn how to play the game. So let's do it. Yes. Love the hairstyle. Hey, Binary, how's it going? Welcome in. I love the hairstyle too. It's so cute. I'm excited that we uh, have the avail like the option to customize our hair color and all that good stuff as well. Haven't been able to make a good normal but gluten-free burger bun yet. I'm still working on it. I am sure with enough time and dedication, you will get it. And I, I already know by everything else you've told us about your baking prowess that for sure you'll get there. You'll for sure get there. That is a suitable outfit for farming. I think so. The yeah. like maybe the lighter for the overalls probably isn't the best because it'll probably show dirt. But the undershirt's a good color for it. Maybe if I had chosen like a swapped, like the overall color is a little darker and the undershirt wasn't. But I really like the look of it. So and plus it's a game. I don't think it's actually going to get dirty. We'll find out. Maybe it will. You guys probably know. You leave Pokio to start a new life on Coral Island. You know what Pokio makes me think of? Um, have you guys seen Big Hero 6? Makes me think of uh, San Francisco from that movie. I would like to be next. Next isn't working. Oh, it's, it's right click, not left click. Don't mind the bad cramps so much right now, though, as the page you're working on is beautiful and daring. First introduction of the male lead, figure skating, so you get to do some nice hot guy shots. Ooh, I love that. I'd be very interested in reading this comic. I'm playing Pokemon White, too, while watching your stream. I didn't know there was a Pokemon White. I'm very behind on Pokemon gens. The characters are super cute in this game. Excited to see more. They are. The ones that are like our age, from what I remember, it's been a really long time, but from what I remember, they were all very schmexy. He's cute too. I like that they made um, the older people still really cute. Hello, cat. Welcome back to Coral Island, your new home. It's been a long time. Good to see you again. I can't remember the last time we had a visitor. <laughs> I trust you had a wonderful journey with Mr. Wataru. Wataru? Yes, it was safe and comfortable. I'm still not sure what I'll do here. It's weird. It feels like I've done this before. Maybe in another life. Maybe you're remembering your trip from back when you were a kid. I still remember your parents. Good folks. Bowser says hi, everybody. Yes, baby Bowser. Making himself known. 
the art style is so good. It is really unique. I will say that about this game. The art style is very unique. You must be quite tired from the journey. Let's head over to your new place. So already looks really good. Um, considering the characters all look really good. The character creation was really simple, but you still had a good amount of options. There, there's always, there could always be more options for character customization. Unless it's like The Sims. But... This is still pretty good for like a farming sim and the art style doesn't look like every other game, which is one of the things I look for when I play one of these games. The floors are done. Joko. Dinda. Oh my, what a coincidence. I will say right now, I struggle with names. So this is going to be an interesting time. I'm going to have a really rough time remembering who is who. We've just finished patching things up here. Is this the new farmer? Well, there's a couple. The horror one you talked about last time, which is more romantic slice of life. I love me a romantic slice of life. Um, that's the most like anime style genre that I watch. Main girl loves dance, but her studio closed and uh, ends up figure skating. Romance ensues. I mean, it sounds interesting. I haven't read anything like that before. So uh, old gen fanatic don't like the new Pokemon gen. I played Pokemon Yellow, and that was the only Pokemon... Well, I played Pokemon X as well, but I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, there's another... There is... This is another game you helped kickstart. Very cool. You like... I guess it is... It, it's technically an indie game, right? So that would make sense if you kickstarted it. I'm just thinking through things in my brain. It's like a lot of farming sims seem to start out as like uh, indie games. You don't see a lot of large corporations doing cute little farming sims there's a few i'm sure but all of the really good ones seem to be more indie the chimkin boat looks so cute i know <laughs> i had a hard time picking what i wanted to put on the thumbnail and i mean i'm happy with what i ended up going with but the chimkin boat was really tempting to include that's right cat this is dinda and joko they're the local carpenters joko Dinda. Nice to meet you, Cat. Hello, Cat. It's always exciting to welcome someone new to our little island. It's going to take me two years to get through the intro because I'm talking to chat constantly. Indeed, Cat. This will be your new house. It's a bit run down, but... Ahem. Excuse me, Mayor Connor. How dare you? Did you just say we did a poor job here? Oh, she angy. Oh, <laughs> he's sweating. No, I mean, uh, I'm stressed. I'm socially awkward. Don't worry, I'm just joking. I don't think she was joking. I feel like there was a little bit of truth in that. Not a lot of AAA company making farming games, which is interesting because of how like how insane farming games like popped off. You think they would have done that? I guess like Fae Farm maybe. I don't know who the creator of Fae Farm is, but. With the price and the DLCs and stuff, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a larger company. Love Joko. So cute and gives you a warm, chaotic carpenter vibe. I'm excited to get to know him. If you want more renovations, you can visit our shop and house on Hillside, Northeast Fear. Are Dinda and Joko together or are they related? We won't charge you for it, but you'll need to gather the materials yourself. That's fair. Once we restore the foundation, you can decorate the house the way you like. We placed the complete instructions in your mailbox. Well then, it's about time we head home. See you both around. Take care and good luck. All right. Oh, he got a little flower on his hat. As you can see, people are very excited that you're here. Doubly so for Sam. Sam. You should pay him a visit once you're more settled in. He's the owner of the general store in town. Answer my question. It's like, who's <laughs> Sam? I've been playing farming games since Harvest Moon Back to Nature on the PlayStation 1. I am, I think me and you have talked about this before. Um, I'm very interested in trying Harvest Moon. I wish I could play it just like on my computer and stream it because I think that would be really fun. My two favorite are Lily and Eva. I'm excited to meet them. I do not remember who those are. Dinda and Joka are husband and wife. Yes. Okay, cool. Eva is so cute. I am excited to do some romancing, let me tell you. And that is the field where I'm guessing you'll spend most of your time. This field.
<laughs> thinking. Uh, uh, having a panic attack. Much anxiety. Yep, that seems right on brand for me. It's a bit messy now, but I'm sure you'll take care of it in no time. <laughs> Here's all this work you have to do, new person. Congratulations. Harvest Moon is the OG farming game. I mean, that's what, like, uh, Concerned Ape was, like, used as inspiration for Stardew Valley. So I would assume it's a really good game. Once you harvest your crops, you can put them or anything else you have to sell here in the shipping bin. I'll ship the con contents. I'll ship the content overnight. Do, do they mean contents? Or is content... Well, I guess that could be plural. I'm overthinking grammar. I'll ship the content overnight to the appropriate stores in town and you'll receive the funds the following day. I haven't been able to decide on a character to go for. There are so many cute ones. I'm sure we're going to struggle. I'll probably just put it to vote in the chat so it takes the difficulty out of deciding for me. <laughs> the farm is huge. Yeah, the farm is massive binary. Since you just got here, you probably haven't bought anything you need for farming yet. Here's a little something from the town to get you started. Are you giving me rusty tools? You received a watering can, an axe, a scythe, and some random seeds. If you need anything else, I'm at your disposal. Come to me with problems, questions, some mean sake. <laughs> I love sake. Welcome home, cat. I remember first playing Harvest Moon. On your GBA? I'm trying to decipher what GBA stands for. <laughs> My brain is like frozen thinking about it. Game Boy Advanced, I'm guessing. I had a Game Boy Color showing my age a little bit. The new Harvest Moon is now named Story of Seasons. There's still Harvest Moon games being made, but it's the company that translated the older games, not the creators. Ah, so I should play the original, not one of like the newer ones. Good afternoon, Pangwapu. How was you and the Dennis? To repair your house, we'll need you to gather some materials. Please collect 50 wood and 20 stone. Once you have everything, head to the carpenter and place an order at the counter. Your house will be repaired on the same day. Your local carpenters. Ooh, you don't even have to wait. That's nice. All right. Well, if you go crop, start by clearing debris from your farmland. Press left click while equipping a scythe, pickaxe, or axe to clear debris. Then equip a hoe and press left click to till the soil. The left click is just our action key, which for some reason seems to be right click for me. I'm not sure why my keys are key bound weirdly. You can water the seeds, water daily. Okie dokie. Oh no, it is left click. I'm not sure why the other things are right click, but it is what it is. Cool. Okay, first things first. Let's set this up the way I like it. There. That should do. I guess we can also put the stone in our backpack. This way, things are more comfortable. Game Boy Advance. I figured it out. <laughs> the OG console back on your back on your days my days mg days what is mg i'm illiterate when it comes to technology and stuff okay getting used to animations Okay, so there's not like a stump that you have to clear down. And that's just one little wacky do. Let's scythe these grassies. Ooh. Trash. Don't you love trash? Garbage, just like my soul. Uh, dentist is very fluffy, and so are the other pedos. I'm happy you got some time with the pedos and the dentist. Um, is this like a Stardew Valley situation where you don't want to scythe 
Oh no, you get hay from it, so it's probably fine. Uh, always got a romance mark. Love me that man. Love breaking through that tough, ex that rough exterior. I'm excited to meet Mark and his rough exterior. <laughs> Does that sound dirty? Because I kind of wanted it to. You can play a story of seasons games, recommend a wonderful life or friends of mineral town, which are remakes of the older games that are on steam. Oh, that could be a fun thing to play for streamies. Maybe after Coral Island, try and break into or Kenseed, whichever one we like take a break on first, uh, break into maybe one of the harvest moon games. Thing you like to do in your farming game, except for first season, hoard everything, sell on the last day of the season. So you've got a lot of money one shot and it's your budget. That's a good way to do it. I like to like find something that makes good money fast and then farm the crap out of it. So I never have to worry about money again. We'll see how that goes because I literally know like nothing about this game. So I'm I'm not sure what is going to be our tea saplings, our Coral Island tea sapling equivalent. Can I not pick? Is my inventory full? Uh, we should have enough room to do a little bit of farming. We have 18 seeds, so three three by three blocks. No, that's not how math works. This three by three. Can I undo it? Can I pickaxe to undo it? Yes. Cool. Uh, oh, so just two three by threes. I can math. Don't worry about it. Okay, you can't hold it down. You do. You do have to click for it to work. It seems. Yeah, you do have to click. Okay. I was trying to like drag it. And it indeed was not working. What is this? Probably should have like checked out what the actual items were before just randomly clicking. Dom, dom, dom. Quest updated. Harvest your first crap. Crop. <laughs> I said crap. Harvest your first crap. Hey, it holds quite a bit of water, though. That's nice. Can you swim? Not in this, you can't. Also, you have heard the new Stardew is coming out the 19th. Is it the 19th? I don't know why I thought it was the 16th. I did hear that it's coming out. Um, I mean, you were going to have to set up time for streamies. We'll have to do some co-op streamies. Love friends in Mineral Town. Yeah, I will. I will definitely have to check out Bowser. Bowser. Freaking Bowser. So excited for starting 1.6. Me too. I'll have to make Elsa play with me. That's Pang Wapple. Um, I'll probably make Pang Wapple play with me for some streams or something. If Pang Wapple is down for it. A Wonderful Life is a bit different as the characters do age with each chapter. That's kind of nice. I do like like the aging mechanic, especially in Kinseed. For spring, soybeans or sugarcane are the most profitable if planted early as you can. Really? Oh yeah, we're supposed to still be gathering stone, huh? Low stamina? Oh no. Yum, yum. 19th is correct. 
Yeah, yes, it will be so hard to convince. I will do what it takes. I guess I'm just going to eat all three of them. Yay. Yeah, we might have to do um, Stardew Saturdays or Stardew Sundays. Or we might do Stardew Saturdays and Sundays for a little while. It depends, but... We'll see what happens when it comes out. Probably just one of the days. I don't know. I don't want to completely give up all of the other games that I'm playing for Stardew. We'll see. Need to find a balance. I need more days. That's what I need. More time. I'm gonna have to update the perfection track list. Yeah. We're gonna find so many new things. Okay, so we still need more stone. So we should probably spend the last of our energy getting stone. Okay, so does that give... Does, do the bigger ones give two? No. Why? It's not even worth it. You still get like one from these little ones that take one hit. And you get one from the little ones that take two hits. So like, what's the point of that? Uh, do we have to, oh, we have to visit the carpenter. Let's look at the map. One townie. Interesting. It shows like where everybody is. It just doesn't show you like who is where, I guess, unless you've met them. Okay, so this is the carpenter. Can we set a waypoint or like a... I want to go here point. I don't think so. It's not looking like it. So we shall just try our best to follow the map. Okay, so we are here. We should go up this way. And then we really have to go like all the way up and over. Okay. Save all the trash you find in this game. You will need a lot. You need trash? <gasps> it's a duck. I want in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's more than just white chickens. Oh my god. <gasps> Peacock. <gasps> We're going to have so many birds. Ah, uh, yes. Your worst nightmare. Stamina bar. I didn't even, like, I... I, I knew it was there, but I completely forgot because I was just mindlessly hacking away at things. I was like, oh yeah, stamina exists. I'm so used to Kinseed now. But these chinkins! I probably took too long. It's going to be closed, isn't it? Oh. No, don't do that. Just harvest. I think it was like up and around. Oh no. Oh wow. That actually went really fast. The map looks way bigger than it is in reality. Still probably way too late, though. A thatter way? That would be nice, wouldn't it? If we could have a thatter way in, like, literally every game. How many times that has saved me time? No! They close at five. Bull crappery. Do you pass out in this game? Also, who is that tiny child? Archie, are you really the new person? Dad said you were a farmer, is that right? What kind of farming tools do you have? Okay, I believe you. Why don't you look like a farmer, though? Do farmers not wear overalls? What about me doesn't look like a farmer? found some wasabi earlier. Is it even in season? Is it? Oh. Magical barrier. This is a living room. What do you mean? 
Maybe it's not. It looked like a living area. Oh, no, they're just fancy and have, like, couches and sitting areas in their room. My room's not big enough for that in life. Interesting. Is there any other rooms? No? Okay. Seeing people you met on the map is so nice. Oh, running into a wall. Since the map is huge. Yeah, it is really nice. Who are you? Oh, hello. Tall, dark, and handsome. I've heard about you from my uncle Joko, the carpenter. That's your uncle. Tall, mustache, no? I don't know. He pretty schmexy. Yes, Bowser. Also, there is a fine NPC thing when you check their profile. Where would that be? Relationship, maybe? Find NPC. Yeah, that's neat. Oh my god, a peacock. I know. I also freaked out about the peacock. I hope we can buy it. I don't know if we can. You think they famously do wear overalls? I also think they famously do wear overalls. So many buggies. We can't catch any of these. Oh, <gasps> it's a caterpillar. Okay, our inventory is full. I want to do things, but I can't because of full inventory. Let's go drop a bunch of crap off. And then I guess go to bed? Is this the right way or the wrong way? Oh, this is where the animals were. That's right. We have to continue down this way. I think you can get the peacocks. We are going to have a bird army. Like, mostly chickens featuring a little, you know, side piece of some peacocks and maybe some ducks. Um, I saw some other, maybe quail. Were they quail? I'm just very much interested in all the bird things that are happening here. Uh, that's the shipping bin. Do we have, like, a, a way to craft? How doth one craft? Makeshift chest. Yes, please. My inventory is full. Crap on a cracker. Let us toss out something. Do we really like that's the only amount we have for a backpack? That is poop. Um, let's just throw the maple seeds on the... Okay, maybe we can't throw the maple seeds on the ground. P? What is P? Farm view mode. Oh, God. Yep. I mean, that's cool that it's included, uh, but I would really like to know how to drop things. Go set up an aviary. Oh, that is That will now be the new plan. We'll have a chicken army and also just like other birds. <laughs> Can't lose. Um, how does one drop it? I want to, I want to make something, but I can't because I've got crap in my inventory. <laughs> Is there something I'm missing? Like, does anybody know how to drop things from your inventory so that you can do other things? I'm at a loss. I don't, I don't have anything I want to sell yet, so I don't want to use the shipping bin. Can I just put that in the ground and plant it? You have to hoe for it? No. Okay, that's fine. That'll work. I found a temporary, a little band-aid to fix the problem. Oh, that used a lot of trash. Okay, let's put our garbage trash, our <laughs> garbage chest out here, I guess. Uh, okay, so you can't put it there. I guess we'll just set it there for now. 
And we'll just put all this crap in there. At least we can empty our pockets. That's nice. Okay, off to Betty Bye. It's currently chickens, ducks, quails, and peafowl. I think they're supposed to have more animals, but don't know if they'll add more birds. That's a good amount of birds, though, for a farming game. Excited for the big chests. Oh, for Stardew? Yeah. It's going to change life. So much life. Once you read this, go into options. There's a way to make days longer if you need more time in your day. Do you think we should make days longer? We can definitely do that. It's going to be beautiful. Beautiful organization. Should we make thy day longer? Game time speed. Guessing that's what it means. Maybe we'll drop it down to like 70% game time speed. We'll have all the time and it'll just be, it'll take us eons to get through a year, but that'll be fine, right? That'll be fine. I think you should. Okay. So do you think 70% is sufficient or is there a better percentage at which you guys would recommend? Sprint, movement, toggle, typewriter effect. Let's have it not be typewriter-y. Actually, no, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Game time hour format, 24 hours, AM, PM. Oh, interesting. I did it because, yeah, that day did feel really short. Put it the longest possible, 50%. I suppose we could do that. More time, more farm decor. Considering I usually don't give enough time towards decorating, that's not a bad idea. E for apply, yes. Okay. 50 because you're slow. Well, considering I don't know the game, I think giving ourselves a little more time per day is a good idea for sure. Pander to the Europeans, cat. <laughs> always. I always pander to the Europeans. Gives you time to do anything you want and don't like to feel rushed to do anything. Yeah, it, more, more chill. More calm and chill cozy times. Especially since I forget what I'm doing while I'm talking to chat all the time. <laughs> and you pass out in this game, I'm sure. Okay, so we need to water thy crops. I'm just gonna spam click. That'll do. I do wish you could hold to water. But there's plenty of games where you can't do that, so. That's just a normal complaint I have about farming sims. Introducing the basic bag. It has a total of 20 compartments. That's five more compartments than a basic tool belt. Carry more, do more, worry less. Available now at Sam's General Store for 500 coins. Nice. Uh, repair your house. Okay, so I'm guessing they'll be alive and well soon for ready for the day and workies and whatnot. Good morning, Chimkins. Chimkins! Good morning! Good morning, Chimkins! I want to go in there so bad. Is there any co-op in this game? Is there? Hello! Surfer boy? Ben? Um... Oh! A new face! Feeling really good vibes from you, mate. He's totally had some edibles in his past. I think it's this way. I have no idea if there's co-op in this game. Homie probably knows. Homie knows a lot about this game, I think. Nine. They open at nine. Okay. Well, I would love to, like, capture some bugs or something, but that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. We will just forage elsewhere. 
This is schmancy. Ooh, can I have these berries? Nope, it just wastes my energy. All right, let's not do that then. Kind of bums me out that scything wastes your energy in this game. And present. And present what? Co-op? Penguop or what? Uh, Dev said co-op is getting added later. Very cool. At least it's planned. Let me in! Now time goes by really slow and so I'm just wandering around doing nothing. Can you chop these trees? Probably not, right? Oh, you can shake them. Oh. Not all of them, though. No, you cannot. You cannot do that. Edibles in past. Oh. <laughs> and present. I see. I see what you're saying. <laughs> He's definitely uh, done something somewhat recently, huh? <laughs> that dude is chilling. He's having a good time. Can we chop this down? No. Okay. Can we only chop the stuff down on our farm? They're also adding ostrich from what you can see from the new roadmap. Oh, ostriches! I love big birds. You can explore a lot when time is slowed down. Yeah, definitely. I was like, I don't really have anything else I could do, so I might as well just run around, just gathering random crap, looking at all of the goodies, scaring away some bugs. No swimming? No swimming. Hello. Fellow human, Dippa. Huh, cat? I'm Dippa. Nice to meet you. Didn't have much else to say. Do you have anything else to say? Oh, a corporate employee. And now you're a farmer. What a twist, huh? Oh my god, an ostrich. I know. Can you ride them? That would be so cool if you could ride them. You probably wouldn't know that because it's just on a road map. I don't know. I don't know why I asked. That would be cool, though. Buffalo and ostrich. Ooh, a buffalo. Can we make mozzarella? Is mozzarella made from buffalo? I feel like there's a buffalo mozzarella. I don't know. Good day, stranger. Oh, you just moved to the farm. Welcome to the community. My name is Anne. Paul. You're going to be a farmer, huh? What brings you out here, then? By the way, you can call me Paul. I shall. Anne and Paul. I am not going to remember any of this. What do we do down here? Oh, this looks quaint. Multiplayer's patch 1.2, no, no dates given. You wonder what these swirling flowers are. Indeed, I do wonder what those swirling flowers are. You don't understand what it says. Okay. Nothing else this way? I want to go swimming. The water looks so comfy and clear and soothing. Okay, well, I have no idea where I am now. Alun Alun Square. There is buffalo mots, but I'm not sure it's named that because it's made from buffalo milk or whatever. Makes sense. I feel like I have the same question about it. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I know that there's one named that, but I don't know if it's made from buffalo. Question mark. And now you want mozzarella. Yeah, mozzarella is pretty tasty. I want it on a pizza. I think they said 1.1 would be the first half of 2024, 1.2 in the second half. 
That seems like good realistic goals. I don't know what this is, so we're just going to check it out. It's a fancy house. Oh, look at that bread. Mm, baguette. I was trying to light myself on fire. Oh, okay. Well, nothing really seems to be happening here. Somebody very rich lives in this home. That is a fancy room. What are you doing, baby? The house. Okay, let's head to the carpenter now that it's open. Or maybe we should go to the general store first. I don't know. Where is the general store? Museum. Electronics. Sam's general store. Okay, so we are close to the general store. So we can stop there and then we can head over to the carpenter. So we need to go like down into town. Bows. You are such a scrimmy boy today. What are this? Town board. Calendar. Aaron. No new tasks. Calendar. Oh, Joko's birthday. We'll have to try and give him a gift. If we have anything that works as a gift. House looks regal. Yeah, it looked really fancy. The houses are so nice in this game. Very, very nice and fancy. I keep saying fancy, but it's the only word that really <laughs> does it for me. Baby bows. Buff bots was made from Italian Mediterranean buffalo milk. Ah, so we were accurate then. That's neat. Baby bows. Can you stop scrimming from the rooftops, please? Just go hang out with Joshi. Is that a cat up in the balcony? Um, what? I'll have to go back outside and check because I'm very curious. I think I missed that. This is Sam. He's been running this establishment for a while now. Hello, cat. It's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the general store. You'll find most of your farming needs here. Most of the seeds I sell are seasonal, though. It would do you good to keep this in mind. If you need help, just holler. I'll be by the cash register. Well, isn't this nice, Sam? You might finally put a dent in that seed stock of yours. Dot, 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 dot. Anyway, before you get going, your moving in was quite unexpected. Here, Bows. 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 Whatever, baby Bows. Whatever. I'm sure a lot of people are anxious. Well, more like curious to see who the new farmer is. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to folks in town? Bowser. It's outside the gen store. Let's just take a little look real quick. We can go back in in a minute. Maybe there was. There isn't now. Oh, wait. No. <gasps> there is. Good catch, Binary. Very cute. Oh, look at all the little birdies. Aww. Are they little sparrows? They look kind of sparrowy. Good lord, Bows. Yeah, he's scrimming. Scrimmy boy. Hello, Noah. I like Noah. Oh, hey, I have to say, you're not what I expected. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hello. Oh, Eva. Eva is cute. Oh, nice to meet you, too. My name's Everest. Eva for short. Eva, I guess? I like Eva better. That's so cute. The kitty was really cute. We don't see too many new faces, so your arrival is great for the town. She's making so many breads. I'm concerned about the amount of invisible bread she's putting onto this plate right now, though. The never-ending task of unloading the furnace oven thing. I want her to make me cookies. Uh, Christina can make you cookies. Hey, Bows. Oh, 
Okay. Um, I assume we have money. We have 300 uh, Coral Island golds. What is the money in this game called? Doubloons? We're, we're going to call them doubloons, I think. <laughs> For funsies. Um, I guess we can get some carrots, some cauliflower. I love how alive the town is with all the animals just living their life. Yeah. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Sandrock in that way. Uh, my time at Sandrock. The way the animals are just like all doing their own thing, walking around. <laughs> Got a big batch of bread buns proofing now. <laughs> yeah. Christina makes all the goodies. Yes, baby bows. Let me know if you ever set up an Etsy shop. I'd totally purchase from you. I am down for some delicious baked goods. Um... Ooh, that was probably a waste. I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. Yeah, baby Bows, you want to see, buddy? Oh, he's scared of my band-aid. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Okay. We are out of money. It was lovely meeting you all. Irma Gerd Chimkins. <laughs> Fishes love Chimkins. This bitch loves Jimkins. I did not mean to just ax you, Erica. My bad. Hey, you. Is this our new neighbor? Making your way around town, huh? Have you been to the tavern yet? Frank is there all the time. Have you two met? Oh no, who's Frank? Oh, he's my husband. You know what? You could stop by our house sometime. Frank will cook us some dinner. That sounds wonderful. Yes, you can tell us your story. Okie dokie. Boss, what are you doing, Goober? What are you doing? Hi! Can I... Bon Bon! <gasps> so cute! Bon Bon has a full belly. Must have just had a big meal. <laughs> Aw, puppy! Welcome in, Austin, by the way. Dirty tofu. <gasps> puppy in the fountain! Puppy in the fountain. Taco is busy and can't talk right now. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. Oh, hi, Grandpa. Sunny, the new farmer. Welcome, welcome. Oh my god. Binary's over there having a heart attack over cuteness. Look at all of these. Oh, is that a lizard? Is that a bearded dragon? What the crap is a lizard doing over here? Why can't I jump? I want to go in there. How do I go? Is it in through here? Let me in. Yes, go to the shelter. I'm like, I need it. Hi. Oh my god. Trinket. <gasps> Trinket. <gasps> it's a bunny. Oh my god. Hippostrum? Oh, he's a pink! He's got pink hearts! You can only adopt two pets. I don't think I'm in a place where I can adopt anything just yet, but this is such a cool aspect of the game that I had no idea existed. <laughs> Binary is straight up having, like, a panic attack over cuteness right now. Are you dead? Bast? Oh, he's a little fox. Oh my god. You can see all of them at the desk. I want to say hi. Oh, hello, Malcolm. Homie's oh, learning some new stuff. Are you having a poop? You having a nice little poopy? Kit Kat. I need to say hi to you. Omar? Baby Bows, you wanna see? Baby Bows? 
Okay, fuck me, I guess. Mr. Fluff. Oh, Spike Bonkers. Fizz. Copper. I love bunnies. Spiker do. <laughs> I like the name. Lindy. I like the lizard. I'm gonna have a really hard time deciding on who I want to adopt. Oh my god, Luna! The little fox! That looks like a finnick fox with the giant ears. Gotta buy this game next week and <laughs> want all the pets. Apparently you're limited to two though. Anari. But still. This is amazing. Oh, he's in the tree! Okay. <sighs> okay. This is so cool. Shop? Oh, you can get pet stuff. Look at how cute. How did I get money? Oh, I would I would have to get Hepastrum. Uh I just like it's got pink hearts on it. And I have no other reason. Too cute. I want the bunnies. Yeah, I would definitely get one bunny and then I have no idea what else I would want to get. Choosing between cats, dogs, and foxen is not an easy job. At least it doesn't count towards owning birds, right? I can still own a million birds. Might have to get a bunny and a lizard. The lizard is really cute. Okay, so we went to Sam's. We need to go up and then over to go to the carpenter. Every player gets two pets in multiplayer. <gasps> so what you're saying is you should have a good size multiplayer server at least max multiplayer amount that you can have. And then you can have all the pets. <laughs> I'm assuming it's probably going to be like a four player because usually four player is like the max multiplayer. Usually. Um, what if I just want you to like house up? Okay, literally there. I just have to read. Reading is great. Oh, I have to have it on me. Okay, 50 wood, 20 stone. We'll go grab the crap. It makes sense that you have to have it on you. I just wasn't thinking. But we get to run by the birds on our way. It's wearing a hat. Oh my god. I want all of them. I can't get too sh <gasps> Oh, what's the llama? What are you? Okay, I gotta focus on the task at hand. We're losing daylight. Is that a ferret? It looks kind of like mongoosey. Ugh. You're trying to plan your birthday lunch dinner, but nothing is like open on weekdays here. In Sweden? Nothing's open on work days. That seems weird. Is it like smack in the middle of the week? Maybe it would be easier to like schedule it during a weekend day that is nearby-ish. That's usually what I do with my birthday.
I'm back. Have a mini story. So I just had to go Karen mode. Oh, snap, Sapphire. What happened? Oh my god, a hippie chimkin. <laughs> oh man. This this game is not not letting me down yet. That's for sure. Okay, so I need more wood. And I have enough stone. I need six more wood. Let's chop it thy tree. For my grandparents live, it's not the biggest city, it's Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is right now. So. Oh, it's Sunday. But oh, it's pretend. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. Um I I'm taking my parents out. Well, my mom and my brother out for my brother's birthday next weekend. But I hope you can find something that's open. Since this is technically the weekend that's closest to your birthday. Maybe if you're still, I mean, I don't know when you're going home, but if you're still at your grandparents, maybe they can just make you like a yummy food or something. Some kids, for whatever reason, threw a basketball at our house. Didn't mind so much kids or kids until they threw it into our window, which happens to be the bird room one. Cracked glass and waiting for a remainder. I'd be pissed. While, while the chat catches up, I'll tell you my fun thing. Um, the kids next door um, play like basketball in their backyard a lot. And sometimes the basketball or volleyball, whatever it is they're playing with, goes into our yard because it goes over the fence. That wouldn't be an issue. Like they can just come knock on the door. I'll take care of it. But I caught one of the kids hopping our fence into our backyard to grab the ball themselves. And I was like, mm, that's not going to fly. You guys can knock. Scared to Kyrie to the point of falling off her perch and landing awkwardly on a toy caused a... Oh, no. I hope she's going to be okay. I know how serious blood feathers are. Cockatiels are notorious for breaking blood feathers. That's very, very bad. I hope, I hope that she's going to be okay. Yay, we did a thing. That sounds like you are having a morning and a half. Slight change of plans. Cats here with the building materials. Let's head over to the farm and repair a cat's cabin. Their parents and a whole lot of yelling ensues. Then mention a Kyra, a Kyrie. <laughs> Sorry, it says a, a care. And I was like, wait, what is the name? It's a Kyrie. Uh, they turn out to be pet lovers, thank God, and now we're going to be paying half. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Technically, they didn't have to do that, so it's really good that you didn't have to, like, freak out over them not helping towards it once their kids did the damage. Good people. I hope a Kyrie comes out okay, unscathed. For the most part. I know how stressful it is for them to go to the vet and all of that stuff. Plus the stress of dealing with a blood feather is not a good time. Oh, look at this montage of us fixing the house up. At least the parents seem so responsible. Hope everything works out and Burp recovers well. Thamesies. Yeah, at least the parents like took responsibility and stuff and... You'll have to send a picture of a Kyrie home safe and well in the Discord. What do you think, cat? Looks brand new. No more holes. How long is the warranty? I'll be extra nice about it. I'd say we can do better. Look, no more moldy wood. We replaced all of it. We also built a new foundation for the house. That means it's strong enough for more furniture now. You can start decorating to make things comfier. Speaking of decoration... 
We have a furniture store in town, but since there are a few tourists, there are fewer tourists, we don't stock many options anymore. No one's buying, you know? Check it out, though. You might see something you like. If you want, we can go there, right? All right, that's enough. You'll scare the kid. Oh, sorry. I get too excited. We love that store. Even some of my cousins even got some of my cousins helping out there. It's a family business for us. Feel free to visit when you have the time. It's in the middle of the town. Shouldn't be hard to find. All right, that's all for... Honey, aren't you forgetting something? Oh yeah, the TV. We threw in a TV for you, free of charge. It's old and bulky, but it still works perfectly. It gets a good amount of channels too, like this weather. She is thankfully got her sorted quite quick and she's safe with the vet. Yes, we are thankful for the parents. Since everything was spoken calmly and clearly, we all came to an understanding. Communication. It's a beautiful thing when people actually do it well, right? I'm happy things are coming out well at the end of it, but sorry you had so much crappy crap to deal with today. That's not a nice start to a Sunday or end to a Sunday. Like the weather report on the Weather Channel so you can skip watering the crops on rainy days or go fishing or something. I don't know what you like to do, but you get the idea. There are variety shows too. Some shows have useful tips if you play close. pay close attention. I guess that's all for now. See you around. See you. Don't forget about the furniture store. I would never. All right. <laughs> Your house just got bigger. Woo! Yay! So much room for activities. Uh, open journal to claim reward. Is it just J? J for journal. Indeed! Claim reward. Yay! Okay, so we'll get 100... I thought we had 3,000 something. Or was that just how much it costs to adopt? Kids were quite traumatized as parents kept saying how they almost killed their bird. They didn't, but I didn't correct them. Uh, dealt with blood feathers before. Terrifying and not good. Yes, but once. Yeah, blood feathers. I have um, like quick stop blood stuff because um, like when you're trimming nails or something and you cut a little too far or. If blood feathers do happen, usually, majority of the time, you can get it to stop. But if it's just siphoning out the blood, then you have to pull the whole feather. And I'm not quite comfortable doing that myself. So you should deal with And it's not the end of your bird's life. If you keep calming it, it's sort of, yeah. If you know what to do when it happens, usually you're okay. Okay, so we need to meet a bunch of townies. Oh no, it said 29 out of 30. Have we really met all this? No, we've really, we've like barely met anybody. Maybe we should just go into town. There's a stranger there. Bunch of people here. Maybe we should just go up into this area. Can I take this? <gasps> I can! Man, they've got harvestables just like blending the frick in, man. We did pull the feather out, as said, dealt with that before. Got to the vet, though, as you want to be safe and assured. Yeah. I'm happy you guys got it all sorted out and everything ended up as good as it could have. Hopefully nothing like this happens to Bowser. Yes, hopefully not. I would be scared about our window like completely shattering like while the birds are out or something. I've already lost one bird to flying away, so I don't want to lose another one that way. 
That's why I'm like overly protective of my birds now. Valentina. Zoe, you're the new farmer who owns that lot. I used to play there with my friends. You can still play there. That's fine. I already know Archie. Oliver. Oh, he's cute. My name's Oliver. Why? My name's Randy. I'm an elementary school teacher. What did you say your name was? <gasps> Mecca Randy. I have already discovered crafting. Thanks, though. Make a flower bouquet. Okay. Oh, I need three more flowers. Or two more flowers. I can do math. Okay, I wanted to go... Let's go over here. There's two townies. Or I guess, is it the two that it shows? Okay, it's those two. So I already know them. We can meet someone new there. We can meet someone new there. We can meet someone new there. There. What about... Oh, like in the community center, there's somebody. Let's go check it out. Ah! Floating kitty! So many floating kitties. Yes, cat. Millie. Millie's cute. I've been meaning to meet you. My name is Millie. It's so exciting to have people moving in. Nice to meet you. Have you met everyone? I'm trying. I will probably not remember your name, though. Sorry to hear that. Quite thankfully, the window didn't shatter. Glad it was just a crack and we aren't expecting any storms or such before it's fixed. I feel worse for the kids. Yeah. They learned a little bit of a harsh lesson there. I'm sure it was just an accident too. That's why you, kids gotta be really careful when playing with things that you can throw into windows and whatnot. But I'm sure they'll be all right. Not too much trauma. Hopefully. Luke is pretty attractive. My name's Luke, Pleasure is mine. You look like a jaunty... Oh, you're Zoe. It's like, you're so jaunty. What a happy child. Sounds like they just had to learn a little life lesson. Yeah. I'm just running around blindly now. I like Lily a lot. Are you new? Yes, indeed, I am new. Who are you? Jim, you're the new farmer? I like your apron. No offense, but you look like you've never held a tool in your life. Fork you. You don't know me? Your dad's a dick. I'll forgive Lily for that, though. That's your future wife, Lily. I like Lily a lot. No, I don't want to gift that. I just want to talk. Why can't I talk to you? Who are you? Oh, do I already? Oh, it's Anne. I already know Anne. Okay, I see. Emma and Dippa. Do we know Emma? I don't think we... I don't remember an Emma. I'm already forgetting who people are. There's so many people.
I wasn't too kind when he first saw them. Apparently, I can get choosy with my insults. I know it was an accident. I did some idiotic things when I was younger. Well, like, you're allowed to have feelings and, you know, react to something. You're, you're allowed to have a reaction. At least you had, you know, the realization that you probably were a little harsh and that's what matters, you know, you, you recognized, <laughs> but you're allowed to react. That's a pretty scary thing to deal with. We all did stupid stuff as children, you know? Would have given them 30 earfuls. Yeah. Elsa on a rant is an interesting time. <laughs> oh, this is the fancy house, right? Ling's mansion. It says somebody's home. Who are you? Leah. You said you're a farmer, right? Hmm. That explains the outfit. How cute. You seem condescending. Okay, who else is nearby that we can meet? Stranger, a couple strangers down here, a bunch down at the tavern. Me, a rant? Surely not. <laughs> no, never. Butter. <gasps> Butter, look at his little toofies. Look at the little toofies. So cute. Have I already met you? Emily. Oh, the new neighbor. So, someone really was moving into town. I didn't believe it until I saw you myself. Me neither. Kitty. Peanut. Little cookies. Makes you want to rescue a million cats. I will be the cat chimkin lady. I just want to introduce myself. I don't really want to order anything. Can I introduce myself to you? Whoa, look who's finally here. The new farmer, right? I'm Frank. Oh yeah, you're married to what's her face, right? What's her face? Because I don't remember her name. Well, 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 if it isn't the new owner of the lot, or should I say the farm? Certainly did that, especially when my husband rushed past with a Kyrie to the vet, saw red, and I think I insulted his intelligence quite a bit, and then his mother. Oh no. <laughs> it's understandable though, Sapphire. It's understandable. Okay, I think I've already talked to you. I wanted to meet new people. I'm guessing we can go up these stairs. There must be a lot of people here, but like nobody's here. Oh. Aliyah. Aliyah? Oh, hello. I don't think we've met. You met Aliyah. I'm stuck. Wait, who's in here? Oh, I can't go in there. Who turned out to be a lovely and sweet woman. I'm so, so thankful the parent, the kid's parents weren't Karen's. Well, yeah, it is lucky. But then, you know, you, you would have had an interest, a, a, a different kind of interesting conversation, I think. Sounds well deserved. If you don't understand, you shouldn't throw shit at windows. Yeah. Theo. Wow. Oh, oh. Nice introduction, shirtless Theo. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard about you. You're that new farmer from San Francisco. Hey, that's really close to what I was talking about earlier. San Francisco. That's right, Pokio. 
See? Like I was saying, Big Hero 6. Their intelligence, not necessarily their mom's. I mean, their intelligence is questionable at that age, you know? Not that they're not intelligent, but whether or not they know how to use it is the question. I was a relatively smart kid, but I was very dumb at the same time. Comes with age, you know? Comes with age. I'm still very dumb. I don't think I grew out of it. Kids would be like eight, maybe ten years. Mr. Abs, I know, right? Okay, is there anybody else out here that... Who did we miss? There's still somebody in the tavern? I swear I went into the tavern. Theo is a looker. Yes, Theo is quite attractive. If I do say so myself. For what you've seen in Discord. I mean, it's hard not to like Theo, considering when you meet him, he literally has, he's like half naked. <laughs> it's a vibe. Is it one of you? Like, who, where am I missing a person? I've talked to you before. I don't know. It's not that important. We'll find them later, I guess. Everyone I've met in the game is so attractive. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty schmexy. Watching on your phone of a Texas small totally didn't read as hooker. <laughs> Theo is a hooker instead of Theo is a looker. Oh, that seems appropriate. They're all ridiculously good looking. The thirst is real. Well, we should be able to craft a flower bouquet after these are finished growing at the very least if we don't end up finding some in our journeys. But for now, let's just deposit the things from our backpack. No, we can make one now. I was hoping shift click would work, but it didn't. Um, let's do a little crafty craft real quick. Oh, I need... Oh, you need five. That's right. That's right. Okay, so I do need more. That's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Theo is a hooker. Funny. Okay, I'll just go to bed. <laughs> what time do you pass out in this game? Is it two like Sardu or is it midnight like other farming games? Maybe Valus. Nope. Oh. How to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. My name is Jeff Smith, and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm, so I got tips for you. Sprouts. Let me tell you about them. I'm going to tell you the first thing my pop told me when I planted my first corn in 19 LXI. Water your crop every day. That's it. You get that down, chances are you'll be okay, Sprouts. But you don't need to water when it's raining, you hear? Welcome to WBC, your bay and weather related news source. The forecast covers Coral Island and the surrounding area. It's going to be very windy tomorrow. A high pollen count is expected. Passion and music brings these five girls together. But can they overcome their harsh world of sea pop? Hello, producers. I will be your representative in the show. Welcome to Coral Stars. Today, five girls will start their fight in the world of C-pop. They will start their voice lessons, memorize choreography, and give their all in stages, prepared to test their result practices. However, your participation will also be essential in realizing the dreams of these hopeful idols. Now, without further ado, Coral Stars, please introduce yourselves. Star in your eyes, hello, we are Coral Stars. As you can see, they are very determined to debut. Leader, any words for our producers? Yes, producers, 
Thank you for giving us the chance to showcase our skills. We will not let you down and we'll always perform our best. Very good. Next week, we will have our first choreography lesson with C-Pop Veteran. So be sure to stay tuned, producers. Goodbye. Next week on Coral Stars. With that attitude, you should quit before wasting everyone's time. Coral Stars are now facing the harsh truth. Can they weather the storm? Can they? Oh, it's raining! Woo! Uh, when you have a moment, come visit us at the beach shack. I like gifts. Is there any more mail? No? Okay. Well. The beach shack, huh? Ooh, the drama. <laughs> That's a fun little thing that they did. The beach shack is a little old place where we can get together. Where is the beach shack? Coral Inn. Okay, there's a lot of people there we need to check out. Strangers. Okay, so maybe we check out down there and then we'll go to the beach shack. Hello, Valentina. Have we met you? I think so. I think we have. Diving. I want to meet you, though. You're a stranger. Chicken boat. That's okay. That's yeah, fine. But we should go to the lighthouse too. <laughs> the sea looks filthy. Does it? I'll have to pay attention. <laughs> totally not paying attention when I was walking around out there. Alice. I like Alice. Alice looks like she's had, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, she looks kind and gentle. That's what I was going to get to eventually. She's had a breeze in life, maybe, or maybe she's been through some stuff and that's why she's come out a more nice, gentle, loving human being. I don't know. She seems nice, though. So you're the one moving into the lot, huh? That would explain the outfit. I am totally judging a book by its cover right now, though. That's unfair to Alice. Raj. Oh, I do love Raj. I do love the look. The long hair. So tan. So tan. The name of the daughter of a friend. Can't date her. It's weird. That's fair. Hello. Suki. Being able to get local produce will be a game changer. Are you married? What you been doing? I like your hair. Uh, who are you? Judge Ross. Good ramen? Uh, my farm. Come to my house for the ramen, baby. <laughs> your brother's dating someone with your name. This is true. Other Elsa. Love her ombre hair. Yeah, she's really pretty. Everyone's hot in Coral Island. It's like a rule that must be followed before you can move there. You also must be sexy. Like, look at my character run. Those hips are moving. Oh, maybe we should go to the lighthouse. Oh, flower! Oh, another flower. 
flower. And another flower. Can I swipe this grass? Yes. Yes, you can. The Grey's Anatomy of Islands. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, this looks bad. Like Raj, they're non binary. Ah, yeah, Raj is, uh, Raj could get it. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm feeling it. It's the tan for me. It really is. Are you looking for farming advice? Never worked the land myself. I'm more at home at sea, except for my plants, ear, my lovelies. Aww, that's cute. He just loves his plants. Uh, also, feel free to correct me on somebody's gender identity in the game. I do have a temp, like a, 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 what's the right word? My brain just stopped functioning. Um, I tend to assume, which is not great. So please correct me if I call somebody the wrong thing. Raj also loves coffee. I love coffee. Maybe we'll go for Raj. It's really early to make that uh, make that decision, but can we get through here at all? Do I just need to clear away? This looks like our farm, right? Also, really cool that they included um, the inclusivity of the genders or non-gendery pronouns in the game. That's great. The devs use they in his... I just said in his... in their bio. I can grammar. Earth geode. Bring it to the blacksmith to crack open. Nice. There's geodes in this game. Oh no. Just trying to find like the easiest path forward. Maybe I should just continue clearing a path this way. Not like I have to do farming. We might as well use our energy doing other things. And somebody said we need a lot of garbage, so might as well collect all the garbage. And slice it, slice. Very nice. Okay, so we probably have enough flowers now to complete that. Suppose it would not hurt. We both love coffee. We have so much in common. Yes, I know how much you love coffee. <laughs> I know you were probably just making fun of what I said, but... We have, we both love coffee so much in common. Might as well just get married. Nothing else matters except for our love of coffee. Oh, pitcher plants. That's so cool. Okay. Uh, probably make... Can you craft from things not in your inventory. Yes, you can. Fantastic. Okay, I made a bouquet. Give it to someone. Approach the character you want to surprise. Who should we give it to? Should we give it to Raj? 
because we both love coffee. <laughs> Be my significant other, please. I wonder if Raj would like it. Uh, I also really liked Noah. Uh, if I were Raj, where would I be? There's five townies here. The observatory? That could be an interesting place. Give it to Raj. Well, you don't have to twist my arm, you know? Where is Raj, though? Millie and Yuri. Oh, my God. We have so many people. Raja Coffee Corner. Is that Raj's place? It has Raj in it. Probably, because it's coffee. And you said that he like uh, They... Oh, my God. I will get it right eventually. They like coffee. So it's probably Raj's store. Raj is at the Coral Inn. I see. I'm going to befriend everyone before I choose who to marry. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to befriend everybody before I choose to marry, but we'll see how that goes. At the very least, we'll get Ra Raj first. You go in the page with all the NPC, you can click on Raj and select find NPC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody literally showed that to me at the beginning of stream. I think it was Vibes, and I've already forgotten that that was a thing. I do wish there was like a marker that you could put though, because I have to like check back uh, my map every two seconds. Okay, it's just right down here. Raj owns the coffee shop. Yeah. With my powers of deduction, I can do anything. Okay, Raj, where are you at? Where are you at, homie? There are you at. Can I give this to you? Oh, would you look at that? Thanks. You're welcome. You look so schnazzy. I just really like your style. Okay? I just really like it. Okay, let's... Um, harvest your first crop. Visit the beach shack. That's right. We have goals, and then I completely forgot about the goals. I even sing a song about it and everything. Ooh. At least nobody is getting sacrificed in this game, so take time to befriend the marriage candidates. Yeah. <laughs> no sacrifices here. That we know of. What? Sunny, we can't do that to the new farmer. Poor thing will get overwhelmed if we get both things at once. Okay, then we start with fishing. Who doesn't like fishing? I want a bug catch. Maybe it shouldn't be such a bad idea to... Welcome! A new face at last! Cat, isn't it? Why are you screaming at me? Nice to meet you! Hmm? Oh yeah... Jim was rude. Jim is Lily's father, I think. I didn't care for Jim. Jim was kind of a dickbag. We'll see if Jim becomes nicer in time. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he just doesn't like strangers. Can you stop screaming at me, though, Sunny? Catching bugs! I would love to catch bugs. How did you know? How's farm life so far? It's a bit tiring sometimes. Don't forget to take breaks. Even fishing can be tiring if you do it nonstop. Honey's a chirper. He's just screaming at me. <laughs> That'll a debate for us. Which is the better activity? Fishing and fun. Fishing or fun and ever exciting bud catching. Hey, hey. My wife, the competitive ladybug. Competitive. Uh, filling. <laughs> really? It explains why you moved to the farm, actually. Hey, <laughs> hey. Well, in any case, here's our welcome gift for you. A fishing rod and a bug net. He feels very passionate about this. 
You can sell your catch or donate it to the museum. Looks like they're going to need it. Good luck. Thanks. I think. I don't want to gift it. I just want to talk. Eva's so cute, though. So far, I think my favorites are Eva, uh, Lily, and Raj. I think he has a hearing problem. Ah, that makes sense. That's why he's just kind of loud. Gotcha. I was like, why is he screaming at me? That makes sense. I don't know all of them, but there are fish that only come out during the rain. Okay. Uh, let's get our hot bar all set up. And we'll throw some of this stuff in our backpack. I want to get a bigger backpack, like a Sapalapagus. Also, I want to see what's for sale. Shop. You can upgrade tools here. Um, needs to be attached to a fishing rod. I'm going to hold off on bait until I get the hang of fishing down, probably. Now that I know there's foragebles on the beach, though. A cockle. A genonia shell. I probably horribly mispronounced that. A random bucket. Can I have this star? No. Sag. I didn't even do anything. Yeah. This looks bad. What's over here? More bad. Things look bad. I don't know what all this is, but it doesn't, it doesn't look good. I'll say that. I guess we can swipe. Swipe or no swiping some garbage. And head back this way. It's only 12. We could probably try and meet some new people. Continue meeting everybody. Oh, this is a cute little sign. I wish I could change the angle. We could take like a really good screenshot. But I'll just take this screenshot. There we go. Where art everybody? Okay, I am here. We've met everyone there. Abandoned villa. Okay, nobody is there. Met them. Nobody's there. Coffee place is closed. Where is everybody at? Closed today. The fish and sips. Two people there we haven't met. The clinic. We could go to the clinic. And the dock over there. Let's do it. The pollution is so sad to see. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. Is it just pollution? Oh, this is the coffee shop. Ah, it's a little outdoor hangout. I see. I'm guessing the goal of Coral Island is to like clean up the ocean. Well, hello to you. Oh, a little ginger with the little freckles. Achoo! Uh, spring. Not the best time to move here. Nice to meet you. Oh, <gasps> chicken. Chicken. That is one big chicken. You want one. <laughs> I do want one. 
Ah, oh, Yuri. Yuri is in the race. Yuri and Raj. Um, I think I'm gonna be stuck between them. It's the tattoos and the hair, honestly, and the nose ring. It's just all doing a thing. It's all doing a thing for me. <sighs> cat Cat? Nice to finally meet you. You can call me Cat Cat if you want. That's fine. Look at how cute the little cute bunny. Oh, it's a person and a vet clinic? It's just an everybody clinic. That's kind of neat. Fancy. She's so different of everyone. It's really nice. Yeah, I really like Yuri. Salon. Okay, so there's one person in the salon. One person down here. Okay, I'll come down here, check that out, and then we'll go back up to the salon. Zara? Oh, Zara's cool. A new farmer in town. You moved here after the oil spill? Huh. I'm Zara. See you around. Nice to meet you. Shall we fish together? Learning how to fish together. I am mildly confused. Okay, we're going, we're making- oh, it takes forever to fish in this game. Jesus. I'm guessing don't pull the line when it's flickering about, and then pull the line when it's not flickering about. Oh my god, the fishing in this game takes two years. I must be doing something horribly wrong. I find the fishing really hard in this game. Okay, so it's probably not just me then. Oh, I got a barracuda! Those are worth a lot in Dinkum. Barracuda. Okay, uh, I did literally nothing and it snapped. It's not just me. Cool! I did nothing and it snapped. Okay, we'll do one more and then we'll go elsewhere. What a big fish. It's at least the two of us. I like my chances. This has got to be garbage, right? It's not doing anything. What happened? Am I lime smack? It's hard, but I still find it easier than Stardew's fishing. I think once I, like, understand fully what's happening, it might be okay, but it's taking a little bit of time to get used to the fishing mechanic. Okay, so obviously the wiggly line is the line snapping. So you don't want it to happen. Okay, I didn't even touch it that time and the line snapped, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Quite enjoy the fishing menu game in Coral Island, uh, Stardew, etc. 
Um, I don't mind the one in Stardew. I'm just really bad at it. I usually make uh, Pangwapple do the fishing when we play together because I am not good at it and Elsa is. So. I like the fishing in Dinkum. Uh, it, it really just depends on the mechanic. This one, I'm sure it'll be fine. I just have to get used to it and learn it because I'm struggling right now with it. So fishing rod upgradable? Probably. Some fish are also harder than others. Fair. Just like Stardew. Same. Where are you? The fishing in this honestly reminds me quite a bit of Dinkum, except um, Dinkum, like, it doesn't really get that much harder with other fish. Like, certain types of fish doesn't really get increasingly difficult, where this it seems like that does make quite a bit of difference. Upgrading your pole should help. We'll have to do that. You need to keep pulling. Don't stop. Just don't let the tension bar reach fully red. You keep stopping. Ah, uh, I thought that if... Maybe it's quite a bit different from Dinkum. We'll have to try again. Mess around with it. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Might go to the lake later. Rainy days are perfect for berry hunting. Can you guess why? Uh, no? They started with a mod, so there's auto catch. Yeah. Uh, Pengwapple uses that mod now, but uh, just for ease doesn't need the mod to be good at fishing. <laughs> that would make it a lot easier for me, though. Okay, let's try fishing here. Actually, let's go up to that bridge. I like these plants, though. Okay, so just don't stop with the holding. Obviously, though, you have to stop holding it once it gets to the red. I'm guessing, like, as soon as it's not red anymore, continue to hold it. Just keeps, like, the red happens so fast. Yeah, and it breaks. I don't think I'm quite understanding the mechanic. I got a flyer. just like it gets way too close to the red too easily and it snaps every time. It is hard, yeah. Really hard to start with. Upgrades and skill improvements help. Don't want to ever stop pulling. Just ease off. Just don't pull too much or it'll snap. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> There's just a fish on the ground. Um, does anybody know how to drop things from your inventory? Because that would be really helpful. If the 1.6 messes with my UI info suite, I'll be sad. But I think 1.5 was a bigger overhaul thing, so I'm holding out hope. Yeah, hopefully the UI info suite will still work. Think more of tapping the real button rather than holding it. That's what I was doing. I was doing the, uh, originally I was doing the tapping. So then I tried holding and neither seems to work well for me, but I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep trying. It'll, it'll take some, 
some time to get used to. I really want this fish. I don't want to throw it away, though. Like, I want to just drop this on the ground. Where's the drop on the ground button? Dang, man. Oh, I'll just, just throw the flyer away. Probably get another one. We need to upgrade our bag. Oh, Sam's store is closed. Who are you? Whoops. I think we've met you before, haven't we? Noah, yeah. I like Noah, too. You can't drop it. You have to either store it or trash it. That's lame. I hope they change that eventually. It would be nice. Oh, the museum's open. <sighs> Hello. New hotness alert. Bowser, why are you being a psycho? Nope, they haven't magically returned. <laughs> no magic here. Oh, hello there. Your cat, right? I'm sorry you caught me at a bad time. Early game, you really need to keep your inventory in check. Keep storing items or selling. Man. <laughs> I wonder how expensive it is to upgrade the backpack. We shall find out. Such tiny inventory space. Just look at this. It's so empty. My life's work. I really like Scott. Scott is quite attractive. What are you talking about? Displaying nothing is so high concept. It's great. I appreciate you trying to make me feel better, but let's stop joking around. This is terrible. Not gonna lie, when Millie told me the town was going to sell all of our collection, I was furious. I'm not- it's not a feeling that I'm used to. The one thing I was good at that made me feel useful is going to be taken away from me. I couldn't stand it. But deep down, I knew the town really needed the extra fun to clean the oil spill. There wasn't much I could do about it. So many chests for your stuff. Yeah, we'll have to make a bunch of chests. Am I going to continue the pity party, or am I going to rebuild the museum's collection now that the town isn't in an immediate crisis? A lot of items if you want to donate to museum. I do enjoy the donation stuff. I really like it in Dinkum. The donation museum. People tell me you're good at finding things. Now, if I'm too bad at it myself, no, I'm not too bad at it myself, but I can certainly use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? Not anything, anything. We have a list of items we want to display. Things like historical artifacts, fossils, critters, sea creatures, so on. Backpack upgrade, first is 500, then it's- oh god. I thought Stardew upgrades were expensive. I mean, the 500 isn't that bad, but the 3500, 12,000 ish. I'm sure we'll get money in no time. I've got some fish in my backpack. Let me put these fish in here real quick. Take these fish. I was going to sell them, but we can get more. Yay! Yay! Money! Okay. Very nice. So bad at catching bugs in this game? I haven't actually tried to catch bugs yet. I got distracted by the fishing. We'll have to try. I have a feeling I'll have a lot of fun with the fishing and the bug catching in this game. I love collecting things. 
think of me as your Coral Island wiki. Happy to have you here then, Sapphire. That means you have to be here every stream. Just know what you're signing up for. Oh, we're creeping, we're creeping. If you look at an item in your inventory, it will say if you can donate it and also if you've already donated it. Ah, very nice. Okay. Well, our chest is full. What is this? Bring it to the blacksmith. Okay, so we've got a few things we need to take to the blacksmith. The coffer and the earth geode. Oh yeah, there was a coffer that was out here too. Did it despawn? No, it did not despawn. It's right there. Cool. We can take these and the geode to the blacksmith maybe tomorrow because it's probably closed. Empty up a little bit of space. I guess we can make another chest and start like <laughs> trying to make some sort of storage system before we get too ahead of ourselves. Okay, so let's take out like the flowers, tree seed, uh, I guess hay. We can take the hay too. Sap. We can leave the sap with. Oh no, we'll leave the tree seeds there. I, I think I'm going to do like porridgeables in the other chest for now. Things we pick up off the ground and all of that stuff. Which means mushrooms and shells. We don't have room for that. We'll drop it over here first. Orgies. Oh, I see. Okay. I wish you could change the color, but that's totally okay. At least we can, like, you know, see what it is before opening it. That's really nice. Um... We will call this, hmm, what should we name this? Shall be a devoted Coral Highland viewer. A Kyrie is back home and well, snuggling on your lap. Thank goodness. Give a Kyrie a nice little head smoochie and head scritch for me. I want to touch the bird. Bowser, I'm going to cuddle. He literally looked at me, did a little whistle, and then went back to what he was doing. He's like, no, nah, I'm good, thanks, though. Uh, we will call this uh, building crap. Yes, seems seems official. <laughs> ah. Okay, well, it's only seven thirty. I'm hoping we can find some goodies. And by goodies, I mean like insects and whatnot. We haven't caught anything yet. Hippo baby bows. Cavern? Are we able? Oh, there was one there. I'm guessing I can't do it after it's like gotten scared. Oh, <gasps> Capitular. No, I think I failed. I don't know what I did, but I know what I didn't do. I wanted the Capitular. Is there more? This is really pretty. Like the water reflecting off the mud. Hot spring. Oh, is this your house? You seem like the chill farmer type, not the get off my lawn kind. Know what I mean? A friend was camping on somebody's lawn one time and he may have been kicked out. Oh no. 
You were kicked out? That's sad. I got it. A puss moth? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm a child. I think that's hilarious. You will sprint a short distance. Mm. Can you do it while sneaking? No, you can't. It should be a dodo. Oh, I already read that one. <sighs> we caught a bug. Entrance ahead on the left. Dashing. Is this a head on the left? A head where? Which way? Which way is it a head on the left? This way? That way? I don't know. I don't know where it's saying to go for the hot spring. I guess I could just open my map. This is probably the hot spring, right? Guessing we can't go there? There's a taco truck? I don't know. We should probably head home, though. It's getting towards late o'clock. I don't think it uses up any energy. It does not. Why does it have, like, a, a shop? <gasps> Hickory horn devil. It's so cute. That's an ominous sound. Bows. Bows. You hear the clanking of swords from inside. You wonder if there's some fighting going on. Oh no, is there fighting in this game? Bowser. Joshi baby bows. Only in summer of the first year, so you don't know as much as you do about Kinseed. I know nothing, so you, you're ahead of uh, you're ahead of me at the very least. Oh, we got two of those. Does the museum close? And are you able to tell via the map? Open 24 hours. Yes and yes. Okay, harvest the canola. Can you make canola oil with it? What else is here? Nothing too crazy. Okay. Okay, so it's not 10 o'clock. I'm guessing it's a 2 o'clock or a midnight. 
Bowser, stop, buddy. Bowser. You gotta be quiet. You got to be quiet. Played it a lot when it first came out, played it before Kinsey, so you're opposite in your field of knowledge. I know like a good amount about Kinseed. And then an okayish amount. Well, not an okay, nothing. I know nothing about this game. I'm going to turn in two of these, but I want to put in one of those to the sale box. Take it. And then I'll grab that back out. I didn't mean to put that in. Let's go to bed. Bows. Bows. Bye. Want some more seed? You haven't taken a nap yet today. Oh, we can craft candy tree seed. And we leveled up. So you can get 50 from selling one of those capitillers. Invested all your knowledge specs into Stardew. Same. I know way more about Sardu than anything else. Well, I know a good amount about Kinseed now too, but I think if I had to compare the two, I would say I definitely know more about Stardu than Kinseed. A couple into Core Keeper. I know nothing. I just go and do what you tell me to do when we play when we play Core Keeper together. These look like they're almost ready. How do you tell when they are ready? Is it just like a scything moment? For you, it's my time at Sunrock, uh, Sand, Sunrock, Sandrock and Sunhaven for your knowledge specs. I know the tiniest bit about Sunhaven and the tiniest bit about Sandrock. Watering. Refill your watering farm, equip your watering can while standing next to it, blah, blah, blah. We out of water. There. Okay, let's go turn in these things. To the museum. That's currently the goal that I'm the most excited about. Is just getting new creatures and turning them in. Oh, what's happening? You're not welcome here. Rune Factory and Harvest Moon franchise. I've never played Rune Factory. From Sunhaven, I have at this point forgotten. Yeah. I know that you have, like, after the bull crappery with their multiplayer and things. You have not been the biggest fan of Sunhaven. Hello all. Karen Schmexy, but I feel like Karen's probably not a great person. 
What is Rune Factory? I don't actually know anything about it, but I've heard the name. Educate us, Binary. Passionate residents of Starlet Town. All this commotion is unnecessary. Pufferfish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here, we're here to bail this town out. Enough with the lies, Miss Pufferfish. We can all see what you're here for. You can call me Karen, and please do elaborate, Ms. Betty. The oil spill that reached our town last year was your doing. These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. We don't want an oil drilling company around, Miss Pufferfish. Oh, Pablo. Oh, Pablo. The Adelos Muertos style tattoos. Please stop now and take the drilling away from here. Oh, Pablo. I'm going to be stuck between Pablo, Raj, Lily, and the doctor. I don't remember the doctor's name right now. Game made by the same company as Harvest Moon. It's a farming RPG. It's really good. Really? I want a special Rune Factory hoodie and a giveaway. Not available for sale and I can't wait to receive it. Such a good series. Really? Should we play Rune Factory at some point? you need to play the first three to understand what you're doing in the fourth one? We're an oil drilling corporation, but things are not always as one-sided as Miss, Be Miss Betty suggests. We don't need your dirty, if I may, red shirt. We can make Coral Island lively again by bringing in tons and tons of our workers here. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil, expand drilling sites to the lake and across the beach. See where I'm going here? I can see plazas with vending machines around town, parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying town. Pufferfish can help Coral Island become a magnificent oil town, you see, creating jobs and attracting our internal talents. In no time, you'll all see this town alive again. Picture this, pufferfish workers everywhere, chilling by the pier, inside fish and sips, enjoying life. I don't think that's what they want. Red shirt. The uh, Rune Factory 4 is okay-ish to play for beginner. Good to know. Maybe we'll have to look into that one eventually too. We've got so many games. So many recommendations. Karen is giving off Karen vibes. Indeed. Let's face it. Nobody cares me more about this uh, charming little island. Let us bail you out. Expand our operations here on Coral Island's coast. That will make this island a world more famous oil town. We're putting you on the map. All you need to do is say yes. Bowser. What? You want to come out? And by bailout, you mean drilling around the island? Runs. For some characters from 2 and 3, they're not important to know from those games, so it's fine to start for. Cool. Pepper fish investors will make a happy profit. Do the math. It'll trickle down to you people. You people? Give you a seed if you stay quiet. Come here. Come here, Bob. He's not interested. He just wants to be screaming. Bowser. Sorry, guys. Give me just a second. Oh my goodness, Yoshi. I don't know what he wants. He doesn't want my attention. I think he wants Yoshi's and Yoshi's just like not feeling it. Miss Karen, thank you for your time. Our door is always open, Mr. Mayor. She do be stylish, though. Serenade us, Bowser. 
Cat, right? Oh, I know you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. No need to be confused. You don't know me. I'm Karen. I'm with the Pufferfish Corporation. This island is dying. We both know it. These people, they're just in denial. We should just make the best of it. Bowser. Wow, stop screaming at him in his face. Nobody likes that. Calm down, Bows. Yeah, he's freaking out, dude. I need him to be a little more quiet so that M doesn't get woken up. If she's even able to sleep through the screaming. He's been screaming a lot today. I don't know what his deal is. Dressing me out. Hey, I was just talking about you, Yuri. That's what it is. I didn't think it was a good idea for her to attend the pufferfish opening. Why? Most people usually get their flu vaccines in winter or spring. That's when you're most vulnerable. I get mine in fall to prepare for the coming season. Give it a try. See how it feels. Isn't puffer? He's so much louder through YouTube. Yeah. Well, like the um, Discord does a lot to muffle the birds in the background when we talk through Discord. I don't have the same same things um, for like OBS. So... It doesn't have the same muting capabilities as Discord does. But also Discord cuts out my voice a lot, so. You get all of me and all of Bowser, unfortunately, with the YouTube versions. Theo. My guess the new neighbor is in a ramen restaurant, like I hope. It's an oil drilling company. Oh no. Hi Raj. I'm not sure where to stand on this pufferfish thing. Anyway, I hope they pay good tips when they're getting some coffee. I mean... We probably shouldn't be on their side? Because of what they're wanting to do with the town? Maybe? Just a thought. Isn't pufferfish a poisonous fish? Pufferfish corp is sus. Um... I mean, not so much... Poison? Well, I guess kind of poison. Would it be considered poison or venom? Probably poison, right? It's perfectly camouflaged amongst grass and leaves. I definitely don't trust pufferfish. Lab. I mean, it's pokey, so maybe venom. Yeah, it might be venomous. I'd have to Google it. I don't know off the top of my head. But only if it has teeth. Well, you can be inject injected from like stingers when it comes to um, like scorpions and stuff. That's venom as well. Like any injectable is venom, and then if it like gets through your skin and is bad, that's poison. I don't know. Or if it's like excreted through skin, maybe it's poison. Can't stress how bad it is to live near an oil excavation project. The health hazard it poses doesn't make any sense for ben any benefits. The lab looks fancy and high-tech. It does. I was expecting to see someone there, but... Luke. So Pufferfish Corp wasn't the one who bought the building. Or was. Honestly, with the state of our town now, it's just a matter of time. I thought it said Laby. <laughs> it did not. Okay, so we want to go there. I'm here. We need to go uh, down and then around.
Puppies. Let's say hi. I always wonder why Bree didn't buy your grandparents land. She seems to be at the lookout all the time, so she clearly enjoys the view from up there. Who's Bree? Have we met Bree? So it's an oil company. I don't think tourists are going to book our inn again with the oil drills around here. Probably not. It's not a good look. Not very cute. Waku? I like it. It's a pleasure to meet you. Dad told me about you. He's the one who brought you here on the chicken boat. Yep, the one with the hat. Nice. Out. Peekaboo. Why don't you come over here? I can give you a scrimmage. Bows. Always forget the difference between venom and poison. Yeah. I always think of like poison ivy and then like venom being like spiders and snakes. But also like there's some frogs that like excrete poison from their skin but that's not you know they're not injecting you they're like excreting it and then by touch you touch it and then it's like it doesn't do well with your skin i don't know the mode of administrating yeah it's kind of what i was going with like one is injected and one is like um just like through the skin i don't remember the dermal <laughs> i don't know they're poisonous. Spikes for intimidation. Only poisonous if consumed. That is what you gathered in 30 seconds of Google. <laughs> Fair. I gotta get Bowser's script real quick. Bowser. Yeah, that's a good way to word it, binary. Also, Elsa <laughs> Ping. Venom is more get poke. <laughs> Very much so get poke. Reward! We have a snack! Fish? I was hoping to see the fish we dropped off, but I'm not seeing the fish. Where are the fish? You can see all these. There's like two capitillers in there. Two of those. It's okay. Maybe the fish will be more apparent once we've gotten more of them. We've only turned in like two. Can we do some fishing? Or is there like other important things we should be doing with our lives? I mean, we could sell the fish, so that's not a bad idea. And I'm still curious to get like a handle on the actual mechanism for that. We need to earn money to start working on our uh, chicken army goals. Ooh, maybe we should start in the carpenter, start, stop into the carpentry store and maybe see like how expensive it would be to build the chimkin, uh, the chicken coop. Earn money to upgrade backpack. You think I should earn money to upgrade backpack first, or should we earn money to get a coop 
first. Probably backpack and then we can get the coop after maybe. No, don't run away! Uh, anyone have good recommendations on earning money? What's the best way to earn money in this game? So we can make our bird dreams come true. Look at these ducks. Look at this peacock. Look at these chickens. Is that a quail? It looks like a quail. Backpack first. Fair. Got 300. 500 gold for a backpack. Upgrade is doable. We're pretty close. I do want to pop in here real quick and just see how much it is for the chicken. Boop. And then maybe we can do some fishing and sell the fish. You just sell stuff you pick up. I wasn't sure what I should hold on to and what I should uh, sell. Okay, houses four coop animals. So we're going to have to build a lot of coops, but that's fine. 100 wood, 50 stone, five bronze bars. Oh, fish ponds. It's a house. <gasps> cool. That's cool. I want to do some fishing. Where's the nearest water? We're like in the middle of the map. Maybe we'll come like to the farm and do some fishing off to the side or something. 2k gold for coop. Yeah. It's a little ouchy. I definitely want a barn later as well, because llamas, hello. Is there any fish in this little pond? Yes, there is. Just spam clicking and spam clicking is working really well. A shrimp. Fishes love scramps. Is this a poster? A flyer. Can we put the flyer up in our house? I'm guessing not because nothing's happening. Okay, that was underwhelming. Bowser, you gotta stop screaming, buddy. I guess we'll just sell it. I don't really know what else to do with it. <laughs> sell the clam shell. How loud the Bowser was until these streams? Yeah, Bowser be loud. Bowser be very loud. Poster is trash. Ah. Trash item? That makes sense.
I thought it would kind of be a cool, like, decoration or something, but... Crayfish! Not sure if it's flyer poster, but nobody like it because it's from the big bad company. Ah, it's garbage. Brown trout for the crayfish parties. That is all you, boo. I am not about the crayfish parties. Haven't found a use for the poster yet. Probably doesn't have one. Maybe they have, do they have like a recycling machine maybe later on and you can throw the poster into that? Guessing this is another poster. Oh, yeah, the smithy. We should take the thing to the smithy to see what we get. Should we do that? We'll probably have to pay money for that, right? Uh, let's grab the coffers and then the earth geode. Let us go. Most things you have found has had a use. Where is the blacksmith? Recycling center. Look at that. Maybe you can recycle it. Observatory. Blacksmith. Okay, so we can pop into the museum and then we can go up and then around and get to the blacksmith. Wait, where am I? Oh, cool. I'm really close. Very big on recycling. It makes sense with all the garbage they have lying around. I see movement. Oh, the crayfish swimming around. Cute. Okay, to the smithy. I hope it doesn't cost a lot. Vineyard. Ooh, mushroom. And a tulip. Oh, it's a moral. Morel? Morel. Okay, so don't enter the vineyard. Go around. And it's a flower. Sadly, you can no longer, you no longer can buy it. Oh, I missed the, the the one message above it that probably has contacts for that message. Uh, Devs also had a DLC you could buy where the money went to real life trash cleanup of the ocean. Oh, that would have been really cool. The ocean needs our help. Pablo. Oh, Pablo. Oh, my inventory is full. Frick. Oh no! I'll get rid of the tulip. Uh, okay. Crap. Crap on a cracker. 
Bows. Hey, you, baby Bows. Hello? Penny, your cat? I heard about you. I heard you're looking for some fresh air away from the city. Indeed. Bows. Oh my god, Bowser. Pablo is very handsome. Pablo is very handsome. Bows. You're gonna have to stop spinning, baby. Out together. Come on, baby Bows, why you gotta be so scrimmy? It is not a good time when I have to constantly stop the game to entertain you, buddy. Dressing me out. Bows. Oh my god. Bowser. Baby Bows. You gotta stop, buddy. It's not doing good for anybody for you to be scrimming. Bows. Stop. I'm guessing not. He keeps flying away. Okay, you just hang out on my on my chair. Yeah, you want to come too? Hang out? You guys just want to hang out on the back of my chair? Just come around to this side. Wow. You guys have to behave together. Okay. You go there, Bows goes there. I just didn't want you in the fan, buddy. Bows, you know you're not allowed on the mic stand. Come on. I'm so sorry, everybody. How are we all faring? Everyone well and hydrated. Ah. Oh. I am dealing with bird problems, but other than that, I'm feeling quite well today. Very well hydrated. How are you? Peng is also doing well, having some coke. Is this just another poster? This is definitely another poster. Does uh, it sell for anything? Oh, it's an artifact. We can turn that in. Gotta spend money to make money. Yeah, baby Bows. You be a good boy. Had some tea dinner, veggie omelet. That sounds tasty. What kind of veggies? I really like tomato in my omelets. I don't know why. What happened? I did something. Oh, cutscene. 
Mexi Museum guys got words for us. Maybe if we do this. <laughs> that face. Come take a look at this. You see this? This is a blueprint for a bigger museum. The museum we have now is... Uh, it works, but you can imagine something bigger, something more extravagant. Imagine this. We have one section dedicated to the aquatic creatures of the island. Then there's another section where we can look at the fossils we've dug up. Ooh, I want to dig up some fossils. The music's quite nice, too. We can have a bigger and better section for the ancient artifacts. Doesn't that sound exciting? Isn't it? But there's one big problem, though. The town just doesn't have the budget to build this museum. At least, not yet. Yeah, are you seeing it? Oh, yeah, he just wanted some cuddles. Bell peppers, tomatoes, spinach, mushroom, broccoli, cheese, bacon. That sounds amazing. Bar the pepper, yeah. <laughs> Peng doesn't like um, bell pepper. But it sounds great. All of it sounds great to me. I'm a big fan of bell pepper. What if we raise the money to build it? By that, I mean I'm going to try to start a Pickstarter campaign. Pickstarter. <laughs> Did you know what a Pickstarter is? Uh, Pickstarter is a crowdfunding platform. We put our project online and people can help fund it. In return, we'll give them something from the project as a token of appreciation. Great idea, right? Anyway, I'm almost ready to launch this campaign, but there are a few things I need help with. Not really, no. <laughs> yeah. Bang really does not like bell peppers. Something to reassure the backers that they're backing a legit project. If I show the empty museum in the campaign, people are going to think this project is a scam or something. I love you, baby bows. You know it's not nice to bite me in the face. Now, my dear hardworking cat, this is where you come in. I really like Scott. We're really happy with what you've brought to the museum so far. They're all amazing, but it's not enough. I asked Macy to take pictures of our museum yesterday and it just looked empty. No one is going to help us if we all show them as an empty museum. But if you were to donate more items, do you see where I'm going with this? I can do more! I can do better! I can save the planet! The museum won't look so empty and we can convince more people to help fund us fund our project. Now, while you help us gather more artifacts, I'm going to prepare other materials to upload to the campaign page. I'll scan this blueprint and I'll ask Millie to write something awesome for the campaign. Oh, maybe I should get Lily to make us a website. I do also like Lily. Can we have both Scott and Lily? Can we be a throuple? We'll randomly crave a cheese and bell pepper sandwich. Interesting. If you're not a fan of peppers. Blame your autism for that one. Do people with autism often not like peppers? Yes, baby Bows. What can I do for you? Would you like a seed? The taste and texture? Ah, yeah, that makes sense. I am very specific about textures. I used to hate mushrooms for that specific reason, um, but I forced myself to eat them a bunch when I was trying to be healthy, and now I can tolerate them. Still don't love them, but do tolerate them. The bit Scott says about it being a scam. Def, that's the devs responding to fans. Seeing as how when Coral Island was announced, people believed it was a scam. Really? That's so funny. 
I love it when devs include like little things in the game that like hint towards those real life troubles that they've had. That's so funny. People with autism often have issues with some foods. That makes sense. Sensory stuff. Lots of sensory stuff. I like mushies, but can't really do the texture. Yeah, I really don't like the texture of mushrooms. I still don't love it, but if it's like chopped up and in something, usually I can do okay with it. Um, I used to hate the texture and the taste. Now I still don't care for the texture, but if it's cooked certain ways or chopped up really fine, then I can usually do it now. Who are you? Oh, Eleanor. It's us as well. We simply can't forget what happened in the past. Hi, baby Bows. You're being so cute. I love you. I was hoping to find another dog in the fountain. Oh, there's a bug. No! Oh, it's like flying all the way up. Sag. Husband is autistic, got diagnosed actually a few months back. Doesn't have an issue with food, but does with physical contact. Yeah, that makes sense. I've always wondered if I should get tested. I have a lot of things in common with people with autism, so it makes me wonder. Maybe. That would explain a lot about some things about my personality, that's for sure. Maybe one day. Eva, I like to take inspiration from the beach sometimes. The shells, the sea, so much material. Hello. Speaking of seasonal stuff, you can get tulips, wasabi, and celery this time of year. Interesting. Oh, God. That's her. Okay. Should we fish? Also not a fan of physical contact. I am with certain people, like certain measure of closeness. I can be okay with it. Like I like to randomly hold my girlfriend's hand sometimes. But I don't know. I have to have like a certain level of comfort and some some moods. Once I get into some certain moods, then I'm like, no, nobody touch me. Like this internal rage. You wouldn't be shocked if you were. Yeah, same thing. Same. Answers a lot of questions. Makes life a bit easier to understand. Get through. Hey, baby boss. Damselfish. I love Yuri's arms hat. So cool. Yeah, same. I was staring at the artwork a little much. <laughs> the bathing suit artwork. Quite nice. Someone touches me when I'm angry. Good lord. Yeah. There's just like this internal rage that I feel sometimes and I can't explain where it's coming from. And it's like an overwhelming feeling. The human brain is crazy, y'all. Ruby Red Dragonette. I have one. I have a Ruby Red Dragonette. His name is Mushu. For those of you that don't know, I also have a saltwater fish tank. And I have a Ruby Red Dragonette named Mushu. I have a bunch of other fish as well. Physical contact was an issue when we first started dating, and I'm big on physical contact. We both learned how to meet in the middle, and when touch is off limits, we're okay. Yeah. Understanding each other's boundaries and communication and all of that stuff is muy importante. It's good that you guys were able to get past that, though, and, like, work through it and find a compromise that works for both of you. And a little bit of chocolate goes a long way. You're not wrong there. Okay, so they do stack, which is nice. You're not Yoshi, you're Bowser. Yoshi's over there. 
I love you, baby bows. I got a fish. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so... I just really want to get this fish. Like, we've been working on this fish for a while. I am feeling the challenge. I'm not the best Coral Island fisher, but I'm getting better. Jellyfish! It's the same rage as when somebody puts X into words where it don't belong. Like, um, let me ask you a question. I know that's the best. Wait, um, before I do that, do we have room? We have one more space. I want to turn into the museum the things that I can, and then we'll sell the other things. My friends can hug me, but they can't do long hugs. Yeah, I'm not a big long hug fan. Like, I just want a quick touch, um, unless it's, like, a really close, like, relationship. Like, I'll hug my partner for a really long time. I like a tough, intense squeeze. Octopus. We got an octopus. Cinder snap forest. Ugh, that's disgusting. You never say that to me ever again. <laughs> we will not be friends. I can't. I can't with the cinder snap. Oh my god, I cannot with the cinder snap. Oh yeah, the espresso exoterra. What is exoterra supposed to be? I don't know. What, I'm not sure what word that's supposed to be. Where's the museum? Okay, I'm going the right way. Communication and patience and a little bit of chocolate. Communication! Like X and messages. Okay, so yes, I am caught up there. But IRL? That's, no, that's rage inducing. Yeah. Etc. Oh! Etc. I did not get that from the way it was spelled. I see. Instead of saying etc., they say etc. I don't actually know if I've heard that one. What are you doing? You making kisses? Bowser's making kissy sounds. Oh, hi, baby. I love you. Reward! Seeds! More seeds, baby Bows. Isn't that exciting? I love you. I wondering how many of you aren't big huggers. I'm a huge hugger and random touch person. It really depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm all about physical contact. Can't get enough of it. Other times I want nothing to do with it. It really is mood based for me. The X is where they shouldn't be in the cinder snap. <laughs> will something will make me drop a bid. I see. I hate, like, the one thing I hate about having to do the pop-out chat for stream is that the little heart covers, like, the last part of the message for the width of whatever I have it set to. <laughs> so I can't read the whole message sometimes. 
Uh, love hugs if it's a person I like. Not so much random touch like startles me for no reason. Yeah, I can see that. If it's just a random stranger, I don't want them touching me. But if it's like a friend or something, I don't mind like a pat on the shoulder. I don't know. It really is situational. Baby bows. I guess we can just go ahead and plant these crops. There's only eight, though. I kind of hate that. Can we plant these random seeds? I hope so. We're going to find out. Okay. Good job, baby bells. You tapping? Okay, what can we sell? Let's sell the ruby red. I guess that's the only thing we have. That's fine. We would it? Well, no, we also have the stupid flyer. I don't know if that's even going to give us anything. <laughs> Is there an auto transfer? Quick transfer Z. All right. We didn't have a lot, but that's fine. What are you doing, baby bows? I love you. Oh, why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? You're cute too, Joshi. Don't worry. You're cute too. Sorry, he's just like wanting so many head pets right now. So many scritches. What a good boy. You're tapping? I really need to do their nails. Their nails are like straight up eagle talons right now. Okay. Bedtime. time. The excess where they shouldn't be in the cinder snap will make me drop. Oh yeah, I read that part. Makes sense. Love hugs if it's a person you love. Not so much. I always forget like what I've already read and what I haven't read in chat. I guess better to reread it than not read it at all. Ruby Red Dragonette was only 35. I would have thought it would be more. Other. <laughs> One per flyer. Oh, Olivia doing the purrs. Yeah, we need to get you a cat, Elsa. What are you doing? Once the Stardew uh, update comes out, everybody will have to tune in for mine and Pangwapple's shenanigans because it should be a good time. I love you, baby bows. You want to go fishing? Mark, beefcake Mark. You're the new farmer, I know. I'm here to give you some info. The cavern northwest of here is now open, right through the forest. When you see Jack's ranch, go left and follow the path. It was closed and now it's open. Okay. Catch any of that? Uh, all of it? The band of slimes cleared up the top levels of the cavern. That say slimes? Smiles? Slimes? I might have misread that. Just don't go too deep. Your garden rake won't help you there. Monsters. Hello, good sir. Binary is all about it. It is dangerous. That's all. If you want to know more, ask Kira. I'm done here. You can now go mining. Sick! We need stuff for the chicken coop. But we also need more bag space. Why is he such a dick? Why was he being rude? IBS ruins some good... M Mark! 
Band of Smiles or BOS. Okay, so yeah, I misread it the first time. I gotta, I was, I need both hands to play the game, buddy. He's like, no, pet me, pet me. <gasps> so pretty. <coughs> Thanks, babe. Uh, M just came in and dropped off a package and flipped off Bowser. Can't blame her. <laughs> oh. We need more seeds. Mark is soft on the inside. The man has arrived. I repeat, not a drill. Father sexy. Mark is soft on the inside. We'll get to know him. I'll try my best to not judge too harshly. Okay, so tell me, um, Coral Islanders, what is the best thing to do with the farmed goods? Should we sell most of them? Should we keep them? Is it better to keep them for food? Are they used for something else later? I usually tend on the side of hoarding, but if it's a better idea to just go ahead and sell a majority of it, I'm also okay doing that at your guys' um, recommendation. <laughs> Fair enough, M. Fair enough. Yeah. I don't know what that box is. I wonder if it's the toys. I ordered some new toys for the birds. Everyone is soft on the inside if you take it literal. Soft and squish. Neat, wet, and crunch. <sighs> okay, so it looks like... I wonder how much it sells for. What does it say? Um, probably have to sell it for it to tell me how much it sells for. Save bronze vegetables and fruits. So save the bronze, but sell the regular. At first you can sell a part of it to make money, but you process items with you. How about I sell like half? We'll sell like half-ish and I'll keep the bronze one. I can always sell more, but this way I don't sell too much. Um, I suppose I can get rid of my watering can and my hoe. Did he say we needed a rake? Is that something we have to build? He mentioned a garden rake. Or is the hoe a rake? Are we supposed to use the hoe for battle? Are we gonna hoe people to death? No, it's just a hoe. Meat, wet, and crunch. We have not had a, a hung out with Zaddy in a while. Or Paige. I would hoard until you can either process items or get the same items with better quality than sell half of a stack of items. Any recipes and bundles. Ah. Okay. I'll leave the ones that I was selling in there for now. What is good for smacking? I guess he said that just don't go too far down for smacking enemies. So let's just go mining. Oh, this is spreading. Oh, there's a lot of flowers. Oh. Okay, that's some bullshit. A fruit. Mango steam. There are more of these? Ooh, a bug. 
I'm going to go to the mine. Let me empty out my inventory. Manages to fill inventory on the way to the mine. Hi, Baus. What are you doing? Maybe you should just stop back by the house. Ugh. Too many harvest bowls. I might as well go ahead and grab these as well. I love you, buddy. You gonna let me... Nope. Okay. Z. Uh, let's go ahead and temporarily put the beetle in there. And we'll keep the mango scene. And for now, we'll just put away those so we have extra room. Okay, how do we get to the mine? Okay, so we need to go up and then like around and follow up that way. Try and maintain a clear perimeter route on your farm path. You never know when you need to enter from other areas, either in general or to prevent passing out. Fair, I didn't realize how much stuff would spawn so quickly. I want to shake that, but we'll do that later. I I will definitely, after we check out the mines, if we have any energy left, uh, we can try and clear out a bit of the perimeter. There's a lot of bugs. Okay, I feel like I went the wrong way. I did. Once you unlock fast travel, it's easier to get around. There's fast travel? Nice. I would like to ride a llama or an ostrich, please. Intense. Get back! Get back! You, the weak-looking farmer! Get back! Rude, dude. Get back from the monsters! Why did you call me weak? Kira, that's hurtful. Where are the monsters? Well, Mark and I did clear out the top levels, but that quake... Hmm. The shaking happened right after you entered, right? There is an old myth about certain curses reacting to a presence, but that can wait. My name is Kira. I assume you're the new farmer? Yep. Being a farmer and all, you're probably here to do some mining. In that case, only the earth shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. From there, you'll have to descend by foot. If you go down deep enough, you can restore access to other floors. You've definitely come to the right place to mine for ores and gems. These caves have them aplenty. Just don't forget they have monsters, too. I like the little statue guys. Those are cute. House? Take the sword. You'll need something to defend yourself with. It's a long descent, so make sure you're well supplied. Be careful down there and good luck. Thanks. Never call me weak again. Reach level 5 and turn the elevator back on. J. You can enter the earth shaft and caverns to mine for valuable ores and gems. Don't forget to bring the sword Kira gave you in case you encounter monsters. Oh, I don't like battle. Uh, let's put this in slot four. Does it work? It does. You can use that. Sweet. What is this? Earth shaft. One. 
I, uh, the one time I played, I definitely did not make it to this part of the game, so I'm very curious. Ooh. I like the bonk sound. Bong. Cat is a hag slayer in another game. I do be a hag slayer in another game. Earth Essence. Jump in. Oh, we got some holes like Stardew Skull Cavern. I just want to break. Can you break these? Oh! <gasps> you can break all the things. Oh my god. Oh my god, let's jump in. Hi, Bows. I'm being a good boy now. I'm scared. A white rock. Oh, there's a monster. Oh, he's cute. I don't want to hurt him. He wants to hurt me. Ouch. Interesting. It might take a minute to get used to the mechanic for fighting. Plus I'm bad at it, usually. You can take the torch. Okay, how is our inventory looking? We can hold a couple more things. I would like to get some more bronze if possible, because I'm sure we're going to need that. I know we needed some bronze for um, the chicken coop, for sure. Is there somewhere else to go from here, or do we have to find a hole? I'm guessing we have to find a hole to traverse down. I'm figuring it out. Oh, that's a scary guy. Scary mans. Scary mans. No? Oh, okay. I get a little laggy sometimes. At least you don't use energy for swinging your sword. You have to break rock until you find the way down. I gotcha. mind the mind so far and the combat isn't horrible. It always takes me a minute to get used to new combat styles and stuff, but new mechanics. So far it's not bad. I don't mind it.
We just casually break like every single rock that exists. Getting cold though. I'm sure that'll come in handy. There we go. Might as well break that one and we'll go in. Ooh, a purple rock. I'm going to save the last one just in case for some reason I need. What is this? Can you break through it? No. Okay. Oh, you could go around this way. I see. Is it raining? It sounds like it's raining. purple rocks actually do anything interesting. Seems to just be normal stone. Ouch. They don't do a lot of damage, thankfully. Nothing interesting over here. Let's have... I thought maybe it had like a function, but I'm not seeing anything. So I guess we'll just continue to break rocks. Peekaboo baby bows. Earth Essence? No idea what that's going to be good for. A geode. Okay, we're getting pretty low on energy. I think that was a good first dive. Let's go ahead and leave. I still really want to buy a backpack. So we need to work on probably just fishing or something to sell. Can you fish here for some special fish? Do we have room for fish? We have two spots. I also don't have my fishing rod. Never mind. Forgot. Birds, what are you doing, Jody? Okay. We have to thank for a furnace. No, can't make a furnace yet. I would like to smelt. Hi, baby bows. Ooh, there's a lot of life out right now. Really got to empty our pocket so we can come bug catching. Okay, monster loot. Smelted. We need to be able to make a smeltery.
I also want to get more seeds, but I don't want to spend my money on seeds right now. Tomorrow we'll have to clean up around the farm a bit. I'm low on energy and I don't want to use my one thing for that. Cows. Hi, Kenny. Rain's a blessing for plants and animals in need of a clean drink. On the other hand, it means I can't eat my lunch outside. The geodes can be opened at the lab. Yeah, I was thinking about going to do... Um, Oh, at the lab? I thought you had to go to the blacksmith for the geodes. You can do them at the lab as well. The fossils be open at the lab. I see. Is there any fish here? I don't mind the fishing so much. Is there a way to replenish stamina? Eating. Eating replenishes stamina. A tilapia. Like the bathhouse in Stardew. This fossil, it's not geode. I think there's an outspring for that. They do have a hot springs. Um, should we go see if we can get into it? It looks like it's here. up is a way to get there. We can go up. Hot springs. Yeah. We'll go check it out. See if we can have access to that already or if that's something we unlock. Gosh darn it. I'm just going to have to eat it. Nice. Hi, Bows. You're being so good. You know that? You're being such a good boy. You're so cute. I love you so much. Um, I'm guessing this is the way to the hot spring and we don't have access to it. That's a chest. Go back, I didn't see it. Back the way I came. Stone boulder with a yellow flower on top. Stone boulder with yellow flower on top. Just at your right. They go back too far. You have access. I wish the lag wasn't so bad on the chat. It's a bathhouse.
out of service. Does not work. It was down the flowery right side. I will go back the way I came and look. Little grassy path on the right. This area? Yeah. I don't see anything there, though. Baby bows. Not sure where you ex where you were exactly you might rewind. It's not hidden. You'll know it when you see it. Ah, okay. I'll try and trace my steps and see what it was. Did we go? Yeah, we definitely went this way. I think we came this way. Bows. Mm, I don't know if I went that way. I might have gone up this way. Think there. Go up. This way? This is where I just was. To the right of the shrine. Up here? I feel like I am not doing what you're wanting me to do right now. I'm so sorry, Sapphire. That, that, this is what you were wanting. I found it, I found it. I did it. I am proud of me. I am proud of me today. Bows. You're not going to scream from the top of my head. That is not what we're doing. Yes, <laughs> I found it. Finally, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It would make it a lot easier if there wasn't such a latency on the chat. There's still a little bit of operator error, don't get me wrong, but definitely would be easier with a little less latency. Let's eat a food. Nope. I wanted to hit yes. There are loads of random scattered chests all over the map. Keep an eye out. Good to know. I honestly would not have noticed that if you did not tell me what to look for. There's no way I would have seen it. Or even known that that's what that was. Did 
Let's go donate. Wait, this should stack if we already have one, right? Oh, I think it just went away. That's fine. We should be nearish the museum. Yeah. Bows. Stop bothering Goshi, buddy. Bows. Why? Bowser. That's not okay. No. Mommy doesn't like it when you do that. You can't just hide behind my head thing and then start screeching into my ear. Ugh. Sapphire Wiki comes in handy. Always. <laughs> you always do. Donations is going well. I like donations. Yes, baby bows. Oh, it's nine. We should probably head home. I would like to get a couple more fish, though. I guess we could just do it by the water at home, even though we don't get a lot of good stuff there, but that's fine. I'd rather be, like, towards home. Don't rip out my hair, baby bows. No, I said don't rip out my hair. A zebra fish. If I could just get like fish that I don't already have or that um, I've already donated, that would be great. Come on. Zebrafish. There we go. Uh, I'm starting to feel tired. Uh, let's eat one and then we'll do a couple more fishings. Maybe not. Can I eat it? There we go. I'm still getting used to the controls. Okay, let's just try and get like at least one more fish. Bows. Less scrimmy. Oh, and then you went and attacked me. I don't I don't really like that, baby bows. Let's not attack mama. So I'm not perfect at the fishing, but I would, I do say, I think I've gotten quite a bit better at it already. It's going much faster than it was when we first tried, so at the very least, it's getting better. Okay, so we've got a few zebrafish. I think that's the second crayfish we've gotten, and we can check our inventory. Um, I think someone said, I'm not, I don't remember who, it might have been Vibes, uh, who said we can check. Okay, so it says donated at the bottom. We donated a zebrafish? Or does it look, okay, no, it has to be, uh, it shows up when it's donated. So we haven't donated this yet, but we have donated the crayfish. So we can, we'll sell the starred one and then one of the others and the crayfish. I'm sure the starred one is worth more, so. There, and we'll keep that one for donation. And then we'll sell a couple of these. Not our first time getting them. I want to have a few of everything. <laughs> a few of everything. Okay, and then we can go to bed and we'll see how much money we make. Hopefully, 
It'll probably not be enough to get the backpack upgrade, but that's okay. We can make a scarecrow and fertilizer. Nice. An explosive. Small fish bait. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, because we sold farming stuff. Nice. That actually made us good bunny. We can easily get the backpack upgrade now. Did we get that farm again? Donate items to museum, reach level five, and claim reward. Make a scarecrow as soon as you can. Well, let's see what it takes to make a scarecrow then. After we talk with Pablo. Hi, Pablo. What could be better than a visit from your local blacksmith? Nothing, if that's you. Word around town is that you started to mine the earth shaft. That's actually why I'm here. Okay, so this is the Clint moment, except it's hot Clint. As you mine, you'll come across ores. What good does that do me, you might be thinking? Well, you can turn ores into bars. With enough bars, our shop can upgrade your tools. Work smarter, not harder, as I like to say. For a fee, of course. To make bars, you'll need a furnace, which you can now craft, courtesy of this blueprint. You'll need five of the same ores to make one bar. You'll also need one charcoal to fire up the furnace. Yep, I think you're all set now. Okay, so start of rules here. Apply. So we need to make a furnace and we need to make a scarecrow. What do we need? Well, we can make a scarecrow, so we will. And we can make a furnace. So we will. Dynamite? Oh, it takes ore for that? <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Thanks, though. Okay, so let's set our furnace, like, here. And then let's get our scarecrow. Oh, right there. Oh, it does not cover a very big space at all. That's poopy. That's a really crappy, like, <laughs> range. So many scarecrows. Okay. So I can go out one more and then I can fill in these spots. I'll have to make a lot more scarecrows. Ah, Bowser. The, his tail tickled the back of my neck. He gave me the shivers. Let's get a couple more fish. I'm actually really enjoying the fishing. You're going to need a lot of scarecrows. Um, do you ever get... Uh... Sprinklers or anything? I would think so. Fish. Okay, let's just go sell that and then we'll go turn in the zebra fish. Uh, actually, we'll put the zebra fish up and then maybe we'll go to the mines again. We'll turn in the zebra fish later, uh, but let's sell the prey fish at the very least. And then let's go to the mine. Upgraded scarecrow later, that's good. Oh, we should probably water the crops. Would behoove us.
There are sprinklers which you can unlock. Nice. Um, where do we get the backpack upgrade? Was that the general store? I feel like it probably was. Cutscene. Hi! Hey there, cat. It's good to see ya. I'm just heading to Raj's Coffee. Are you here to socialize? Yes and no. Who's Buckfish? The old drilling company. It's easier if I show you. Let's head to the community center and chat there. My coffee can wait. I want coffee. And Raj. See that large F on the town rank board? Yes, that's us. It didn't happen suddenly, though. This room used to be the pride and joy of our town, proudly displaying Starlet Town's A rank. Is this not Coral Island? Or is like Starlet Town on Coral Island? An A, cat. Sometimes we got a B, but it was never an F until Ah, uh, I need to see I need to sit down to tell you what happened. Bowser, why are you scurrying around on my shoulder? I don't like that, buddy. Still. Some time ago. Oh my god. That's correct, Mayor. As usual, every season we start by looking at why people visit Starlet Town. Visitors come here to see your museum, heritage sites, and ocean. The town rank we award is based on the condition of these attractions at the time of review. Today we're awarding Starlet Town with a rank of... Yeah. Everyone's unhappy. Say what? Hello? Listen, prepare all necessary documents and equipment. I found the perfect location. Oh god. Oh no. They kicked a horse while it was down. Last year, an oil spill from a neighboring island made its way here and wreaked havoc. Everything went downhill from there. Karen was there at the town rank hearing. They've been watching us this whole time. Those conniving pufferfish people. You heard what she said the other day at the new pufferfish building. Their plan to rescue us is to outbrand Starlet or outbrand is to rebrand Starlet Town as an oil town. Just the thought of abandoning our legacy, the museum, ocean, and heritage sites, it's hard to accept. It is quite beautiful, the island. On the other hand, thinking about our town going under is harder. Our town needs to be good. Great, even. Business was booming. The town, it was lively. I'm afraid that unless we can increase the town rank back to an A and regain the trust of visitors, we'll have no choice but to work with pufferfish. Oil spills are hard to clean up, too. Well, yeah. They really are. It's a travesty on nature. Refilling the museum seems straightforward and achievable. It'll just take time. But healing the sick heritage sites or getting rid of the stubborn roots of the ocean, where do we even start? How do we even start? Our town is just in a difficult position. It's a lot to take in, I know. How about you join me for coffee? The walk and fresh air will do us both good. I can't say no to coffee. Or Raj. Let's go. Oh, magic! Magic is happening. Is everything all right? Oh, he didn't get to see the magic. It's a Junimo moment. Bows, Yosh, Yoshi. He's not doing anything to you. Leave him alone. Showcases your overall progress on revitalizing the town. Raise the town's rank by improving the ocean museum and heritage. Okay. Where is the store? Uh, 
Okay, so I need to go like up and around. Oh, doggy's playing in the water. Hi. It's always taco. No! No task. Oh, I missed um, Joko's birthday. You're having some apple pie? Why are you making unhappy face about it? Oh. <laughs> I see your correction. I was like, why are you so upset about it? You're not, Raj. I wish I had apple pie. I do too. Apple pie sounds great. Taco is the cutest doge with vanilla sauce. Taco with vanilla sauce, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, I know those two messages were not meant to be combined. I just couldn't help myself. Taco is really cute. Apple pie with vanilla sauce. I don't think I've ever had apple pie with vanilla sauce. It sounds interesting. I'll have to get you to pronounce it in Spanish, Spanish and Swedish. <laughs> the first S word that came to me was Spanish. <laughs> You'll have to say it for me in Swedish later, if we get a chance to talk. Bows, you were being so good. You were being so good, baby Bows. How's your first spring on Coral Island so far? Bows. Oh my god, Bowser. <gasps> Bowser! 20 increase. Oh, thank god. At least it's a good boost. Okay, it's less than I thought it was, but at least we have a full thing now. Bowser, come here. Come here, baby Bows. Mentioned the vanilla sauce. Now I'm craving vanilla ice cream with strawberries. Ooh, that does sound good. I want cheesecake. I could go for some cheesecake. Straps, yum. Some cheesecake with some strawberry, like, coolie on top. Mm. Okay. Um, we do have a little bit of money left over, so I think I'm going to buy some more seeds. We will get some more carrots. Some more patates. My sword for a second looked like a key. And I was like, is this Kingdom Hearts? Now I want cheesecake too. <laughs> cheesecake is so good. <laughs> so tasty. You miss cheesecake. Can't have weed anymore. All your favorite foods, pizza, sandwiches, baked goods. Oh no, Sapphire. Is it just the gluten-free moment? Having, having to do the gluten-free stuffs? Body upsetty spaghetti about wheat?
Christina's got some mad gluten-free recipes. Just saying. Maybe Christina can hook you up with the cheesecake one. I don't know. <laughs> it's possible, though. I wouldn't throw it out as a possibility. Okay, let's plant some goods. And also make more scarecrows. Honestly, I should have planted these around this scarecrow, but that's fine. I'll need to make at least three more scarecrows. What do we need for that? Uh, we need more trash. Can have milk, just can't have wheat or caffeine. Does anyone here like banana loaf bread? I love banana bread. I usually like it with um, nuts in it, though. It's, I think we usually put walnuts. Big fan. I don't think more of no caffeine makes you more energetic. To. I drink it for the taste, my dear. The sweet taste of coffee. I get no energy benefit from it. Oh, yeah, you decaffeinated stuff. That's right. Unable to eat the foods you like. And decaf does have a very small percentage of caffeine in it. Yeah. Very little. Very little. Baby bows. He's just a screaming machine today. I do not know what's going on with that boy. don't understand why people get out of coffee that isn't caffeine. The taste. Some people actually like the taste. I like the taste too. Just the taste wakes me up in the morning. Or it makes me feel like it does anyway. Probably because I'm used to getting the caffeine from it. To be day on the 14th and you're craving a birthday pizza. Can you get one um, made gluten-free and then still eat it? There's some good places, um, well, depending upon where you live, I guess, but there's some places that make like decent gluten-free pizzas. The placebo effect. Yeah, that's kind of what I was just talking about. I know that you guys had already discussed this before I ever mentioned it, so, but it's funny. We mentioned the same thing and we you know, didn't even plan it. Didn't even plan it. Is there any gluten free? I, there should be. It really depends on where you live. Bowser. You can only make one right now. Oh man, this is not well planned out. I'm gonna have to redo my entire farm. Now that I know kind of how the plants and like scarecrows and everything work. That does not go there. Oh, 
Okay. Is it late? No. Oh, I forgot to water. Gosh darn it. Suppose, but not around here. Small villagey type of area. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Like, it, it can be pretty easy to find them, but not if you live, like, in areas that don't have that, you know, so. It would probably be a little on the hard side to get it here, but most of, like, the chain restaurants offer gluten-free options. But not if you don't have access to that. Okay, now let's go to the mine, try and get a little more ore. I guess we could start smelting the ore out, but we'll just worry about that later. Uh, I need to go up. <sighs> we did eventually find somewhere to eat for the 12th. Yay! Are you excited for your birthday? Mainly a lot of fruit and veg, plus the baked food I can't have. Baked goods? Baked goods? That sucks, though. That really sucks. I'm sorry. Sorry, I thought I saw a bug. It's gonna be emergency food. Just prage that the crows won't eat the crop. We shall prage. Best thing I had lately was going to be London and having some wheat free cakes. Was going to London and having some wheat free cakes. I savored every bite. I can't blame you. You should uh you should get Christina. Uh if Christina ever makes uh, an Etsy. Just buy some of Christina's goods. Everybody support Christina's Etsy baking business. If it ever happens. I don't even know if Christina's still here, but could be, just in the background. Also, I don't know if Christina's gonna end up making the Etsy business, but food for thought. I want to go up there. Can you dig this? What is this? Oh. What is happening? Oh my god. Did everybody know about this? That was so cool. I'm having a hard time understanding how you're no longer... But otherwise, yeah. Longer 17. There we go. If she ever does, she'll have a loyal customer. If you're listening, Christina, people need your baked goods. Specifically the gluten-free ones. Yeah, you getting older, Elsa, but don't worry. I'm still, like, almost a decade older than you, so that should make you feel better. <laughs> it doesn't make me feel better, though. Jump in. Already? Let's just make sure there's no ore around. I guess we can slapity slap. Ouch. Nope, no ore. Sad face. Gonna have 29 this week, so close to 30. I'm past 30. I 
don't feel like it, but I am. Oh, don't. 14th, I turned 23, and I'm just wondering the googling, googlack gosh, where the time went. Yes, where does the time go? Not quite 30 years. <laughs> no. I am... How old am I now? <laughs> Honestly, I don't pay attention and then I lose. I lose count. Uh, 31? 31. Yes. I will be 32 in September. What even is age, you know? It would seem so. Happy future birthdays to all of you who may be having a birthday in the next week or in March. Happy early birthday. At least Fairweather won't collect your taxes. This is true. I want more ore. Oh dang, I was hoping I could pop off before he hit me, but... Monster Essence. Is the magic in this game? I feel like we've literally been playing for over four hours, and I don't feel like it even cracked the storyline in the least bit. This must be like a pretty extensive game. I would like to somehow make it to floor five, but I think we're going to need to bring more food stuffs to do that. Starting to feel tired. I'm gonna have to eat this. It gave me barely anything. Great. I don't think we're gonna make it. But we're already on Earth 4. hoping we could get it with these rocks but it looks like we're gonna have to start smacking regular rocks oh no i'm not gonna make it we need more food sag <sighs> I just have no understanding of where the last forest years went. Honestly, I forget that I'm above 30 and I get mildly confused about it. What even is life? Okay, well, we're gonna have to exit. I have no energy. 78 hours in and you didn't finish it yet <laughs> jesus okay well looks like this will be streamed for a long time yet i probably won't go for too much longer i'm starting to get pretty tired and it's been over four hours but we might finish this hour out so stop at 4 p.m cst around there 
Maybe play like one more day after this one. I want to make it to floor five tomorrow. Anybody can play the flute. All you need to get to do is get yourself one and blow through the mouthpiece. Well, yes, indeed. Seems very literal. You're on your third year and still doing stuff. Large game indeed. Could just be how you play. Yeah, I could see it being either way. It sounds like it's a game chock full of content, so we will have streams of plenty for the foreseeable future between Kinseed and Coral Island. And then once the Stardew update comes out, I really got to figure out what I'm going to do. I might have to pause on either Kinseed or Coral Island, specifically for Stardew, because I only got two days. But I don't know which one we would pause on. Maybe Kinseed, because I'm further in that one. Just take a little Kinseed break. But that's hard for me to do because I love Kinseed. I don't want to take a break on it. We'll see. I've got I've got some time to figure it out. Let's do that. And then let's pop in. Wait, we need the coal. We have it on us. Cute. Yay! Produces. Okay. Okay, I can only make two. That's fine. <sighs> it's a repeat of the five hour Kinsey live streams. Yeah, I think for the foreseeable future, most live streams will be around four to five hours. <laughs> but to be fair, when I first started streaming Concede, I was doing like six or seven hour streams. Like my experimental, I don't know if you've watched those, Sapphire. The, like there, there's a good majority of the experimental ones that are actually six or seven hours long. Wait till you get to the festivals? Festivals? I didn't even think about that, but that makes sense. Most of these games usually have their own like special festivals and stuff. That'll be really cool. Depends how long the break would be. Prefer to see Kinseed. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe I could do like, I could record playing Stardew and just put out those videos instead of live streaming it. I do really like live streaming though, so. But we gotta work with what we have for time. Yeah, that's a good idea. Elsa, just do a community vote. I could definitely still do live streaming of two games and then whatever game I can't manage to do live streaming for, make videos for. But I don't know how I feel about that. As much as I love you and your content, I don't think I could do it. Maybe not now anyway, should be capable as I've done HP and Lord of the Ring movie marathons. <laughs> That's okay. You don't have to go back and watch those. <laughs> you hear a voice, but can't make out what's being said. Spoopy. Try to focus on my voice. Interesting. Good. Now listen closely. The sacred trees. Please visit any one of them. Find them around the island. I, yeah, I don't know if I do have time for it, Elsa. <laughs> I really don't know if I do. I could probably force myself to do a video throughout the week, but. Okay, so visit any of these trees. 
touch the tablet to summon them. They will open your eye. You are my hope to heal the island. Now wake up and go. Wee okay. Ooh, it's raining. You love to see it. Let's get our first bars. Bows, you are gonna have to stop, buddy. Okay, let's go check out... I guess we're not gonna mine today. That'll probably have to be next week. Um, let's go check out that tablet thing and then maybe spend the day, like, fishing or bug catching. I'm not sure. I am so excited for once we finish stream because I am totally going to have a food. I am so hungry. Have we donated this one before? Yes, we have. Love that you can tell that way. Okay. Movies! Movies? I'm watching Avatar right now. Not like right now, right now, but like in my spare time. Uh, is this one of the trees? Bowser. Did we just go that way? No. Just don't overwork or get burnout on games. Stream them because you enjoy it and have time not to upload a schedule or appease the content goblins. That's fair. That's fair. You have good points. Good points have been made. Which one? Um, the cartoon one. The original. I am about to start book two. Not actually red, despite the name. Indeed, it is purple. I found a tree! You don't understand what it says. But we get a cutscene! Do do do. The Netflix one, the Nickelodeon, Shimmel, Shimmel, Lumla one. I told you which one. The cartoon. The Nickelodeon. Ah! Good, good. <laughs> yes. That's why I decided to tell you. I figured you would approve of the decision. So do I need to release, like, all of them? What is that? One of the sacred trees. Okay, I did one. Do I just follow him? Where did he go? I don't know where he went. Cat is allowed to keep her life. <laughs> Indeed. Yay! I don't get to get murdered today. Woo! Where are these? Do I need to see other trees? I'm not sure what the question, 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 question really means. <laughs> it's a legit good sounding basketball sound. How am I feeling about it so far? 
Um, it was honestly really hard for me to watch the first season. I would like start watching it and then I would like fall asleep or something. <laughs> and so I'd have to, I just like restart it from the beginning over and over again because I kept just like not paying attention. Uh, which wasn't like super great. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess we just like wait. It's just question marks. Um, M told me that it gets a lot better when book two starts, so I'm very excited about that. But I ended up just watching, like, a YouTube reactor at the same time, or watching a YouTube reactor react to season one of it. That way, like, I was, I felt like I was watching with someone, it was more entertaining, I got a little bit of analysis for parts maybe I missed or didn't catch on to, um... That was really good, and I got through the first season doing it that way, so. I made it work for me. I'm excited to start season two for sure, I know that you're supposed to meet, like, everybody's favorite character in season two. So I'm excited to meet uh, Toph, I think, is the name of the character. I know that uh, Toph is an earthbender, but that's about the extent of my knowledge. I think blind, blind earthbender. I intend to blame this on your current sleep schedule. Blame what on my sleep schedule? Oh, the falling as the falling asleep? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. I've been falling asleep at like 8.30 a lot of days. start falling asleep on the couch and then I have to make my way to the bed. Melon Lord. Melon Lord. Maybe I'll get that reference once I start book two. Not my cabbages. I know that reference. I don't know what it wants me to be doing, so... My cabbages! Uh, let's just do some fishing. Oh wait, does this have questies now? Yeah! Throw me something. Charles is looking for one daisy. We have a daisy. That'll give us something to do. Let's go grab a daisy and then we'll give that to Charles. Cactus juice, it'll quench ya. Nothing's quenchier. It's the quenchiest. Season two is the quenchiest. I'm learning a lot of things right now. <laughs> I'm sure all of this will make sense in due time. Ooh, hello. Oh, those are thick patat. Those are some thickums. Uh, let's do that. Come over here. We'll get a daisy. And then we'll put these back where they go. Uh, I've donated that one, so we can sell this. I need to donate that and that. Uh, I guess I could sell some patat, or maybe I should keep the patat. We'll at least sell this. Oh yeah, maybe we'll just go do a donation. Because we've got a couple of things. Uh, we've got the beetle and the zebrafish. On top of the red admiral. And where is Charles? Parlays. Uh, let's do the thing that somebody mentioned. Vibes? I think it was vibes. Might have also been homie. I don't remember. I apologize. Where's our relationship? And then we'll see Charles. And then we'll say Tab. Oh my god. Look at me doing the thing. Charles is on the dock. All the way over there. Okay. Let's go. Here 
you're a head off now. See you next stream. Bye, Binary. I will see you on Saturday if you're able to make it. I hope you have a lovely rest of your Sunday and the week goes swimmingly for you. And that life is good and all that lovely things and stuff. Oh, there's Charles. Hi, Charles. I have this for you. Uh, give quest item. Yes. I did it! Our first errand! Nice! Woo! Secret tunnel! I've heard people say that before. I never knew what it was from. Is that really from Avatar? Oral shopping. Furniture. Ooh, let's go to the furniture store. First girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. I'm so lost. Oh, this is quite nice. Are they just signs for sale? What is happening? Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm confused by this. Must be a little confused. Oh, yes, Cat is mildly confused for Sherzies. That's fine, though. I'll learn in due time. It's half the fun. Because, you know, it'll be it'll be a really, really interesting time. I'll be like watching the show and then you'll this, this, the thing will happen in the show and then it'll be like, oh, my God, it's like that one time my chat Sapphire and Peng were talking about the thing and stuff. And then I'll just think back to this lovely moment that we all had together. How nice is that? How quaint, you know, how quaint. Don't know why I need glass, but I'm sure that'll come in handy later. Oh, the little kitty emotes. Those are really cute. Little kitty in a box. Okay. Well, it's still relatively early. Should we go back home, try and figure out what food would be best to bring with us into the mine, and then try to make it into... Uh, to floor five. Just pick up everything we can on the way. Save all the glass. Okay, apparently it is super useful. Good to know. I will do my best. With you here, I won't make any mistakes or less, depending on the lag and how quickly I make mistakes without you being able to intervene. Okay, let's put the glass into there, and then we'll drop off the bug net and the fishing pole. I don't know what would be the best for food. We've got 50 energy, 44 health here, uh, 33 energy, but I bet the tomato, the potatoes are worth more. Let's just bring... I might regret it, but let's just bring some of the patats for energy. You know what? We'll also just bring a couple of the turnips. It doesn't hurt. We can get more, more of those things. Faye and I are re-watching it again now so we can appreciate how much better it is than the Netflix one. So I've seen the first episode of the Netflix one and I really liked it. But keep in mind, keep in mind, I did not grow up watching the Nickelodeon version. So I, I don't have that bias and I'm able to separate it in my brain as two different things. So like the Netflix live action, I kind of separate it as its own piece, uh, its own art, you know, its own thing. Um, and then I go into watching the cartoon as its also own thing. Like, I can appreciate them separately, if that makes sense. But I can see why so many people who grew up watching the cartoon 
and have this really intense love for it, not being able to remove that bias. It's understandable. It's very understandable. You shall try your best to help maintain the most efficient playthrough. You are appreciated. We like efficiency. Which you might not know, considering how often I get distracted. I mean... I don't know what episode 5 entails, but... Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just have to watch it for me to even understand what you're talking about. <laughs> I have nothing to base it off of. Like, the worst I can say at this current point about the live action, watching only episode one, of course, is that the, the acting is a little cheesy and off, but they are child actors and that is a thing that happens. Usually they get better uh, with time, so give them a little bit of courtesy there. But other than that, like... I think that the uh, CGI and everything is as good as it probably could be. Um, it's kind of hard to animate air. Air is the cheesiest looking one. And understandably, how do you properly animate it, you know? So, I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. I think it, it's getting a lot, of, a lot of hate. But that's just my personal uh, perspective on where I stand, so... I think the kids worked real hard on their acting and stuff, you know? They did their bestest. They just children's. I have the one thing I've heard is that it's better than the movie. That is like the one thing everybody has said is that at least it's better than the movie that was made. So that's good at the very least. Elsa seems to agree with that. Looks good. They just made everything look really pretty and stuff. The writing is just bad. Yeah, the, the writing is not great. The acting is also not great. I do commend on uh, the actor that plays Aang, though. He does the, like, emotional aspect really well. He doesn't have that playful side as much, which is unfortunate. Uh, but he does, like, the crying scenes really well. And he shows emotion really well. So, that's, that's a positive thing, I can say. Nothing is worse than the movie, and I would don't watch it if you haven't. I have not watched it, and I don't plan on watching it, for sure. Ouch. They didn't give the child actors much to work with. Yeah, they really didn't. The child actors can only do so much. <laughs> it is a horrendous Avatar movie, just a poor movie in general. Avatar Ung. Ate how they did the Suki thing, but she was real pretty at least. Suki. I don't recognize Suki. That in the first episode. Is his name not Aang? Did I pronounce it wrong? I've always heard everyone say Aang. I think even in the show they say Aang. Or did they do it weird in the movie? It's hard to know when I don't have a lot of context. Uh, 
run in circles. I feel so bad. They have such cute faces. Uh, I don't think I'm even going to bother going over there. You got to make it to floor five before stream ends. It's got to happen. We did it. Hate how they did the suit. They combined far too many storylines for it to work like second or something. We're making fun of the movies pronouncing, not yours. Ah, okay. I was like, did I do something wrong? Oh no, that's embarrassing. It's on the internet forever. Do you guys pronounce uh, the, the, the people who created Spirited Away um, Kiki's uh, mail delivery, that studio, do you pronounce it Ghibli or Ghibli? I had someone correct me the other day and I had never heard somebody say it that way. So I was like, which one's right? I think I said Ghibli and they said it was Ghibli and I was like, oh, I thought it was Ghibli this whole time. You and the show's right is the movie. Really? That's weird. Like, how did they mess that up, though? Because there's like a whole ass cartoon that happened before the movie happened and they definitely said it right in the cartoon. <laughs> so like, how does that how did that happen? Depends on mood. Ah. Mostly uh, Ghibli with a G and not J. I think that's Ghibli and not Ghibli. Ghibli would probably be a J, right? Jack, Jib, yeah, okay. I have convinced myself. Yeah, I usually say Ghibli. Oh, it's a pronounced differently American versus British. Ah. Studio, Studio Ghibli. Ghibli? like the worst person to attempt it because I'm horrible at accents. I can say some things really well in an accent, but just messed up all those words. I can say some things really well in an accent, but like just talking in full sentences. Nah, I can't. I can't do accents. I'm not talented with my mouth in that way. That was a weird way to word that, but you know what I mean. Studio. Stu studio. <laughs> That's not good. It's not good. I say it like that. I do have a strong British accent, though. Oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I had a strong British accent. Accents are schmexy, man. You should take advantage of that while you have it. Like you don't, you won't have it for the rest of your existence. I don't know what I even. I'm just rambling at this point. Why is my sword on fire? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Get wrecked. Very much a stereotypical posh voice. Thank Queen. <laughs> I think that's a wonderful accent to have. Can't wait to see how Trisha's baby and Charles are going to work out. Do I know these people? While you have it. I know. I don't know what why I said those words. Okay, it just happened. Here we are. Trisha and Charles? Who are these people?
like Charles the is that a prince a duke I don't know I really know nothing about uh royalty in other places Oven takes piss out of me for it all the time. And geez, while I have it, sounds like a threat. <laughs> oh, if that's what you take it as. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm just dumb and go rambling and the things I say don't make sense sometimes. You know, we're just we're chilling. We're chilling out here. She's stealing yours. Watch out. I wish. I really wish I had an accent. Accents are so cool. I guess technically I have an American one, but who wants that, you know? Ew. Last time Trish wished Preggers the Queen died. Okay, so I was in the right realm of who these people were. Good for me. Now she's again said something about Charles having cancer. Oh no. I need to finish watching The Crown. I got to the part where like they time skip and the queen isn't the same queen. It's an older queen. And I'm just having a hard time. Like it's almost like I'm having to be reintroduced to like a character. Like it's. I mean, that's exactly what it is, but like it's the same person, but it's the same person and I'm having like a disconnect, a bit of a disconnect for it. I'm struggling to get behind the new actress. I'm sure she's wonderful. It's not her, it's me. Ouch. A reincarnation joke. Yay! I'm starting to feel tired. Okay, let's make it... We're on floor 8. Maybe we can make it to floor 10 in time? That would be cool. Just need to make it to floor 10. The jump, she's great though. It's Nick or whatever he was called's mom. I know literally nothing about royalty. Like my knowledge on other countries like governments and rulers is like, a, it's a shame. It's an embarrassing shame. But to be fair, <laughs> I went through the American school system where they don't teach you about those things and I never educated myself. It's probably about time that I do though. I can only use that excuse for so long. I've been out of American school for a hot minute. I did really like the crown that I've watched so far though, the little bit that I've seen, a couple of seasons. Did really enjoy it. Yes. Uh try and push through. The actress is incredible and portrays her beautifully. I will try. Uh maybe after I finish Avatar. Um it's a chest. I saw it this time, Sapphire. I did it. Um, I'll try and finish it. I'll give it another chance. I might end up just rewatching the whole thing because it's been like over a year now since I watched the first couple seasons. I think she ended up being great. Okay, let's go back to the entrance. At least we made some mind progress.
We got a little bit of ore from it. Not a bunch, but a little bit of ore. I feel like if I would have missed that one, um, bad things should have been cursed upon my family. Because that would have been... It was literally in the middle of the room. Like, could you imagine? Embarrassing. I really wonder where that little dude bro went. I feel like I was maybe supposed to follow him. I don't know. Our day is almost over, friends. The stream is about to come to a close. This was a good one, though. Almost five hours. Not too shabby. We accomplished many a thing. We need more scarecrows. We need to completely redo the farming layout because the three by three is just like not going to vibe with what these guys cover. Uh, let's check our mail before we go to bed. Notice the elevator for the earth shaft now goes down to level 10. I'm aware it was your doing. Since you've shown yourself to be capable, here's a task. Defeat 30 monsters, then swing by our guild once the job is completed. Consider this your entrance exam. The guild is right beside my house. Happy hunting, Kira. Roger. You and the birds and any future offspring would have been cursed. Well-deserved cursing, too, if I'm being honest. I feel like that would be a slight overreaction. Nah. We deserve it. Dishonor on me. Dishonor on my cow. All right, guys. We are going to call it there. This was a wonderful stream. I think things went swimmingly. Quite lovely. I look forward to more in the future. But for now, everybody have a lovely rest of your day, morning, evening, night. I'm pretty sure those are the same things, but that's fine. Have a wonderful wherever you are, whatever you are, whenever you are. And I will see you all next weekend. Bye, guys. <laughs>